NFL fans, it's time to unwrap nonstop football action. This holiday season, throw down on big matchups with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. This week, new customers can bet just five bucks on any NFL and score 150 bucks instantly in bonus bets. Download DraftKings Sportsbook now with code Shannon. New customers can bet $5 on any NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Oh, Laney Ray didn't get one in last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Got a shout out on first take early. I this appreciate morning. that, baby. Cincinnati Bingo legend. <laughs> Cincinnati Bingo legend. Your favorite number 85. Route runner extraordinary. Yes, yes, sir. Let him know now. Chad, Ocho, Cinco. Let him know. Thank you. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Ocho, from last night to tonight, we've gained, we're at 512,000 subscribers. That's right. 512. Please make sure you subscribe to Nightcap Podcast Feed. You can also listen to it, listen to it through the Club Shay Shay, but make sure. Hey, as a matter of fact, go ahead and hit both of them. Go ahead and subscribe to both of them. Go to Shay Shay Feed and the Nightcap Feed. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, do us a favor, make sure you subscribe to Nightcap. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier link at the top of the page. The holidays vastly approaching. They're closer than you actually think. Go out and get yourself a bottle or someone that you love. Uh, let's jump right into it, Ocho. The Rams beat the, Saint, the Saints. Derek Carr, Matthew Stafford, both throw for 300 yards. Matthew Stafford, 24-34, 328, two touchdowns. Rams running back, Kyron Williams, ended the game with 104 scrimmage yards. His sixth straight game in which Williams had posted at least 100 yards from scrimmage. Tied for the second longest streak this season, only behind mm. C-Mac, Christian McCaffrey, seven. What did you like about what you saw Listen, from the Rams what I saw tonight? from the Rams is goddamn Puka, Puka Nakua. Oh, Puka. Goddamn Puka, Puka Nakua. Hooper Cup and Brother Robinson. Listen, yeah. that trio, that trio is something special. That trio is something mm -hmm. special. And we're gonna get we're gonna get to it a little later on with Puka Nakua having the success that he's having. He has another topic of another receiver we're gonna talk about later on in the show. But obviously, you know, I always my allegiance will always be to receivers when I see success, especially from the quarterback position and when a team like that is winning. Would, what Puka Nakua was able to do tonight, especially as a rookie, which he's done all season long, is be consistent mm -hmm. in his play. It's phenomenal. Stafford, listen, he made some throws. He didn't even step in. He didn't he even step into some of the throws, and he on the money. He's siding on him. He's he's siding on him throws. No looking. Man, listen, they look good, man. Even though they're seven and seven now, eight and seven, the Rams are a team I think you don't want to see offensively. When they get into the playoffs, that's the team that you don't want to see that's hitting their stride at the right time and at the right moment. I think the I think the thing that really helps them is Kyron Williams' ability to yeah, run the man. football. So now they can play action mm -hmm. off of that and hit Cooper Cup, hit Robinson, mm -hmm. hit Puka Nakua. Uh, Higby is a very solid yeah. tight end. They're 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 a very dangerous team offensively because of the the multi dimensions, uh, uh, the multi faceted, uh, what they do mm -hmm. running the football, play action off of that. Sean McVay is very creative, a lot of different sets, a lot of motion, gets your eyes going a lot mm -hmm. of different mm -hmm. directions. Uh, they're playing, they're playing e extremely, extremely yeah. well right now. Um, the 49ers played them. I think the last game of the season, I think the 49ers mm -hmm. played them. That could be a dangerous right. game for oh, the yeah. 49ers because it is a division opponent. Uh, they're very familiar right. with each other. So uh, I, I, I have a question for ahead. you. If they do play the 49ers, mm -hmm. would it be in the last game of the season with the 49ers obviously going to the playoffs? Do the 49ers rest their starters? No, because they're going to probably have to have that game to win. Now, it all depends because they might need that game to make sure they secure okay, home field okay, advantage okay. because you want home field throughout the right. entirety of the playoffs. Now, if one of these teams loses again, uh, let's say the Cowboys lose again, we'll see where it goes. So, Because right now, off the top of my mm -hmm. head, Ocho, they have the best record at 11-3. Yeah. and three. So we don't know. But if they lose another game, what is the conference record mm -hmm. going to look mm -hmm. like? We know uh, uh, Dallas has lost right. to the Eagles, and they lost to the 49ers right. in the conference. We know that the uh, Eagles have lost to the Cowboys and mm -hmm. the 49ers, 
and the mm-hmm. Seahawks in the conference. So that's three conference losses for the Eagles. That's two conference mm-hmm. losses for right. the Cowboys. Uh, I think the 49ers have lost to – I know they lost to Cleveland, which is an mm-hmm. AFC team. Who are the other teams they lost to? The Vikings, which is an right. NFC team. That was a Monday night game. That's what I'm saying. Yes, Niners. Who the Niners lost to? The Bengals. So they theoretically could for the simple fact they lost to the Bengals. They've lost to the uh, right. Cleveland Browns. So that's two, not two non-conference versus the one conference versus the two versus mm. the three. And because they own the head-to-head matchup against the Eagles right. and the Cowboys, theoretically, as long as they go ahead and, and they don't lose – uh, but what's the Cowboys? The Cowboys have lost three yep. games, right? Cowboys, Cowboys have lost to the Eagles, the 49ers, and the, and the, no, Bills. the Cardinals, and, and the, the Bills. Bills. So they four. So they're good. Right. So they're good. As long as as long as they as long as they only have four mm-hmm. losses, right. they're gonna be straight. They're gonna be straight because they own the head to head versus the Cowboys, head to head versus okay. the Eagles. But I was very impressed with what I saw with the Rams mm-hmm. tonight. And like I said, if you've seen the mm-hmm. resurgence, it's be it's it, it's come at the direct mm-hmm. time. That Kyron Williams has started running yeah. the football a lot yeah. more. Yeah, and the funny thing about it is, usually when you think about today's today's game, you think about today's game. This is a happy. This is a pass happy league. It's a pass happy league. Normally mm-hmm. during my era, obviously your era too. One of the things that Marvin Lewis always harped on is we're gonna run the ball. We're gonna run the ball to open up the pass. And when you think about it, in today's yes. game, they throw the ball so goddamn much. Sometimes you know the running yeah. game it really isn't effective. You know, to no point, but the fact that he can run the ball right. the way he can and it, and it can help, <clears throat> excuse me, it can help offensively with play action, drawing those linebackers in with him running the ball successfully as, as he did tonight. And that is why the receivers were able to get off because now you put the defense in a bind because they, they can hit you either way. Right. Pick your poison. They can kill you on the run or they can kill you with the pass. When both are going well, shit, it's a goddamn toss up. If you look at the 49ers, they got Christian McCaffrey. You see how you see how fluid that Unfair. offense moves. Look look at the Buffalo mm-hmm. Bills since the James emergence Cook, of James yeah. Cook. Look at the Miami Dolphins with A Chain mm-hmm. and Mustard. You see teams that can mm-hmm. run the football pose a threat right. to run the football. How how it opens mm-hmm. up the passing game yeah. as opposed to the teams that all they they really do is right. struggle. I think that's what happened a lot mm-hmm. to the Eagles. The Eagles can't run the football nearly as well right. as they ran right. it last year, uh, and I think DeAndre Swift is having a better season, um, can run the ball better than Mm -hmm. Miles Sanders. But for whatever the reason, the offense, the offensive line is not as strong, especially at the point Mm -hmm. of attack running the football like they were last year. Also, the turnovers. Because when you turn the ball over, you take a possession away. If you turn it over on first down, you don't get you don't get to see what you do on second or third down. You turn it over on second down, you don't see what you get Mm -hmm. to do on third down. And Jalen Hurts is double the Mm -hmm. interceptions and double Mm -hmm. the fumbles. Yeah. He had he, he had eight total turnovers all of mm. last year. He's at seventeen with three games right. to go. So that can tell that 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 shows me a, a little of why the offense doesn't look quite it's like it year. did last year. Plus, I, I, I still think he's ding. Uh, most quarterbacks, unless they've right. had an injury, don't put a knee brace on in the yeah. middle of the season. Right. I mean, m- normally, if you start the season with a knee, uh, uh, like Manning mm. and Brady and a lot of those guys. They've had mm-hmm. knee injuries. They feel comfortable wearing right. that knee brace. Normally, guys don't come out there with no knee brace and then at some point in time during the season mm-hmm. put one on if mm-hmm. they're healthy because they are restrictive if you're not used to re- yeah. wearing it. So, I mean, question for you. Where, where, do the, where do the Saints go from here? Obviously, they fall to 7-8. and eight. Their remaining schedule is the Buccaneers and the Falcons, who they've already lost to in the division already. Yeah. So what do the Saints do from here? Are they still in contention? Do uh, there there be a wild card? Maybe still in the hunt a little bit. They they well, let's see. They now could could they still win the division? They're gonna need yeah, some that, help. That division though. bad, man. That division yeah, bad. yeah, it is. I mean, probably seven, probably uh, eight, nine, maybe nine mm-hmm. and eight. Probably nine and eight right. to win that division, Ocho. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see any of those because I think Tampa has the best record in that division. What are they? Seven and seven. Seven, Tampa seven and eight, no. Seven and eight, yeah. So theory, yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. still close. Yeah. It's still so that's it's still that close. division basically is a toss up. <laughs> it's a toss up based it on the, the, the final yeah. stretch of the season, based on yes. on what they yes. can do. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mustard. Mostert. 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 You okay? The ch- Mostert. Yeah. Uh, uh, he has tied for the most touchdowns with Christian McCaffrey with 20 total scrimmage touchdowns. Uh, Ocho, we got something that we got to talk whoa, about. Whoa, here. whoa, whoa. George. George That's my Pickens guy, George Pickens, baby. Let's go. Admitted to not wanting yeah. to block to avoid uh-huh. injury. Jalen Warren, the guy that he was supposed to be watching, w- blocking uh-huh. for, some people play the game hmm. different. If I was in that position, I would have blocked for him. But we play differently, so. I need you to say, in the words of Ricky yeah. Ricardo, like he used to tell Lucy, Somebody got some planning yeah. to do. Hey, listen, I, I love Pick. I love Pick. I love George to death. I love him to death. And as a receiver, as a former receiver, what I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to block for my running backs, whether it be Rudy Johnson, whether it be, whether it be Corey Dillon, whether it be Cedric Benson, always. Now, I'm not known as a blocker. I wasn't physically imposing. That's not what I did. But what I did do is I would get in somebody's way, and make sure Try. and give my guy a two-way go. You can go inside, you can go outside. Sometimes I didn't even have to touch nobody. I just run two people off. I just run two people off. In that situation with George Pickens, because they are losing, have a, a losing record, they're not having a good season, based on the standard in which we hold the Steelers to, everything is magnified. Everything is magnified. Two weeks ago, we had Deontay Johnson not blocking. This week, we got George Pickens. Kind of loafing, running back. Run, kind of. Okay, lo, loafing, not not, not blocking. Again, his reason mm-hmm. for not blocking was similar to that of the reason how Tank Dale got hurt, being in a scrum a little bit and having people roll up on him. But there was no effort on that play. There was no effort at all on that play. George, I know you're going to see this, baby. I love you to death, but you can't do that. I understand what he's going through right now. To me, how I view George Pickens, and I, w- I would hope how some of us view George Pickens coming out of college. That is a transcending talent. One of the best, if not the best, coming out in the draft that year. I don't think there was anybody better than him. I see him as a player that can change the dynamic of a franchise, especially offensively, from the receiver position. That does not, I'm, I'm not saying what he did was okay. But I think for George Pickens, they have underutilized him to the point where it's become demoralizing. It has hampered his confidence and his want to to even be out there on the field and contributing as much as he can. And that is a result of, of, of what I think we saw. I disagree. And let yes, me sir. tell you why. If you think that was the first time that he had uh-huh. done that, he had done, he done this when they were winning. Deontay Johnson has done this when they're winning. So you think mm. Sunday was the first time that he chose not okay, to block in that, a game. That, that's a good one. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. This is the first time. This is probably not the first time he chose not to block in a game, but this is the first time it's been brought to everyone's attention and it's been magnified on a higher scale where we all can see. Because, uh, hello, but what's my favorite, what's my favorite yeah. quote to you? You never accept anything in a win, you wouldn't have lost. So when he was doing this, when you was winning, and you accepted it, what's the problem now? Right, right. And and listen, what what, what they got to do now is George has to figure out a way. Deontay Johnson has to figure out a way. Listen, we have a problem in Pittsburgh. We have a problem in Pittsburgh. The eye in the sky don't lie. And everybody is watching. Mm -hmm. They're going to be critical and, and analytical of every little thing you do. So what did George and Deontay need to do? Don't be the problem. Be the solution. You have a quarterback. You have a quarterback but, carousel. You have inconsistency play mm-hmm. at the quarterback position. That means Deontay Johnson and George Pickens have to be on 10 every single time. They got to do everything right every single time because every little thing is magnified because the season is not going as good as it should. Can I yes, ask you a question? When you call 10 uh-huh. passes, for 200 Ooh. yards. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. If I got 200 yards, I don't need 10 passes. Just give me about six. Six passes is enough. Yes, sir. Okay. So you, so let me ask you a question. So you got six passes for yeah. 200 yards. Your paycheck was probably 75,000. Nah. When you caught, when you caught three passes for 25 yards, your check was 75,000. So what's the difference? You didn't get paid yeah. by the catch. You didn't get paid right, right. by the yard. 
So why are these guys doing what they're doing? You say they're frustrated because they're not catching. Their paycheck indicate they're getting paid the same mm. regardless. I, I like I, you see I like happened? I like that point. But you get paid, right? You're getting paid, right? You're getting paid to be utilized. Yes. You're getting you're getting paid to catch balls. You're getting paid to catch to catch touchdowns. Now, one thing I know about George Pickens, we see flashes of brilliance. We see flashes of a transcending it, transcending talent. That is being underutilized because every time I turn around, goddamn George is hitting his head off the goddamn goalpost all yes. the time. But they don't use but, him okay. enough. This is me and from the out the outs. This is from me from the outside looking in. I don't watch enough of the Steelers to be able to make a fair assessment on them in its totality. I'm just saying from what I see. Let me, can you on, know why? Wait, let me, you let me, know let me, why? Let me, you let me, know why? My, 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 my computer about to go dead. Hold on, baby. Oh, I'm in the game now. Come on. What are we gonna talk? We hey, we finna be on here three okay. hours a night. I'm feeling good. But you but you see yes, the sir. problem? Because George Pickens and Deontay Johnson only sees their worth in scoring touchdowns. They don't see they add mm -hmm. any value any other place other than scoring, other than no, catching no, you passes. You can't say that. You can't so what say about that. You what can't what? say that just because I why did no, they block then? Why didn't they block? That. Why didn't they block? Don't 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 put that on them. And I just said that. Why did okay? I do okay. Since you're defending them, why didn't no, you they block? You can't say I'm defending them. I I, I said what I, they did wasn't right. What? I said what they did wasn't right. Why didn't they, okay? I said I said they see their value as catching mm -hmm. passes, scoring touchdowns. They don't see adding value as blocking and the running back scoring right. touchdowns. So again, I reiterate yes, to you, why didn't they block on those specific plays where they didn't block? I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Yes, you I, can. I, can't, I can't answer because I'm not in their shoes. I just gave you an assessment on why I. The man say he didn't block because he didn't want to get hurt. Did you not okay, hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so then, and then wait, 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 wait. wait. Then I gave you an example on what just happened not too long ago with one of the great ones over there in Houston getting rolled up on. I understood what he's saying, but what you can do is you can block and keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving. Keep them things chopping. If you feel someone coming up under you, you get up out of there. Yeah. Ocho, you in the wrong business. If you worried about getting hurt playing professional football, you in the wrong sport. But you, you can't say, you can't say, man, I'm afraid of getting mm -hmm. thrown off and say I'm a, I'm a professional right. bull rider. That's a part, right, that's right, a part right, right. of it. You can't say, man, I, how do you become a vet if you're scared mm. of blood? How do you be scared? How do you become mm. a trauma surgeon if you're okay. scared of blood? How do you say I'm going to be mm. a lifeguard? But man, damn, right. I'm scared of this water. You can't. So if you're going to play mm. football, you can't say I'm afraid right. of injury. That's a part right. of it. No I, I know it is. I know it is. Listen, you you screaming at me like I said it. I was just giving you maybe a reason on why I think he didn't block. He said what he said, and then I just add a little bit more context to it about the frustration that he might be feeling about not being able to be as productive as he thinks he should. Oh. That's all. I'm not saying what he I'm not but saying I, but, I'm not saying oh. what he did is right. I love this. I love I'm not this. saying the what he did is right. The best thing, I get that. The best thing that I love about me is that I have this great thing called yes, recall. Sir. And I remember you yeah. telling me that receivers go out there. You said receivers are not supposed to care who the quarterback yeah. is. You got an effing job yeah. to do. So if he got a job to do, he, what does it matter whether or not he's right. catching passes? I, I said that. I said that when I first started. No, I said that when no, I first started. No, no, I said, no, no, George, no, no. baby, you got to go out there and play no matter whether you're catching balls or not. You got to hold your head up. You got to pick your chin up because you can't see where you're going if you got it down. That's but, I said I said that. I didn't say it in those words, but, but I said you, it. But you said he was frustrated. That's why he didn't do it. You offered an explanation for because why I he get, did it. It's supposed to be all. It's supposed to be offered without yeah, explanation. I'm just, I'm just telling you why, Unc. I'm telling you why. I'm a receiver. I know I, I, why is I, I know that body language. I know that. Why? I know that body here, language. I'm telling I'm trying, you what it is. What I'm trying to tell you. I'm not saying it's right. Are the reasons that yes, you're sir. giving that he's not un he's underutilized. Mm -hmm. He's not getting mm -hmm. no, the ball. The not, quarterback play, that's unimportant. Oh, it's unimportant, right. But I'm giving you reasons on why it probably happened. Don't, don't do me like that. No. There, there can't be a reason why it happened. Is so. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So, so now, so what if? So what if like the offensive lineman say, you know, hey, the running back said, man, sh man, they ain't let me run the ball, so I'm gonna miss this block and let the quarterback get hit. Now, in the listen, back of his head. 
But you're no, cool I'm not that? cool with that. But you jump on me. I'm just giving you reasons on why it's probably happening. Again, I'm I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just Let I'm me just, tell you I'm why just it's happening. Give you the A, B, and C. You know what? This is how he's probably feeling. His frustrations. He's lashed out. He's angry. He's upset. That shit can be demoralizing, and you can lose your confidence based on being underutilized, me, knowing he, that you can help. That's all. I'm gonna take it to a. I'm gonna take it a step further. Let me tell you why What's it's up? happening. Because Mike Tomlin has allowed it. There are two things at play here: either he's coaching that type of behavior, or he's condoning whoa, that type whoa, of behavior. Whoa, 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 now, whoa, whoa. Mike Tomlin does not control grown men. He does not control grown men. You you can't. Let's not put that on the coach. Let's not put that on the coach. You either you either you either coach it you either coach it or you condone it. I don't think I we know Mike. We know, we Antonio, know Mike Tom is not Antonio condoning. Brown. Antonio Brown. Talk about Antonio Brown. Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, Martavius Bryant, George Pickens, Santonio Holmes. Why is it? I just gave you six, good seven ones names. Too. Al, and you, it's all you, you gave me six good ones too. Now you ain't give me no. You ain't just give uh, me no slouches. You gave me them boys. Think about it. Traded Antonio yeah. Holmes, cut Martavius yeah. Bryant, traded yeah. Claypool, cut your traded yeah. Antonio Brown. Do you see a reoccurring theme? You see a reoccurring yes, theme? They tolerate you till they can yeah. replace you. You see the yeah. behavior? Now, you remember when Antonio Brown went live on Facebook yes, live? In the locker room. You remember the locker, from the yes, locker sir. room? Yeah. It, Wait, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. With, no, no, with, with no ill intent now. With no ill intent. Just they were happy about a win. You know the locker room is off limits, Ocho. You know damn well. Come on, don't do that now. I'm not going to let you pretend like the locker room isn't off limits. Damn, it's a camera in the goddamn locker room after every goddamn game now. It's a camera in the locker room after every goddamn game. NFL films. NFL films. So oh, uh, let me ask okay. you a question. I, 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 like, I like how you move the goalpost there. I like No. That. So yes, let me sir. ask you a question. Hmm. How much you think Antonio Brown paid to do that? And how much you think NFL films paid to do that? Oh, the money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the money. You know, you grease them. You, you grease. Yeah. You, grease, you grease the right prom. You can do anything, baby. Yes, sir. Thank you. And when they asked Mike Tomlin, was he going to not? Was he going to suspend Antonio Brown? He Hell said no. Nah. You see, nigga, where you gonna get that goddamn? Oh shit! I'm sorry. My bad. Where you gonna get that production from? Where you gonna get that production you just from? Get that and you just said you can replace. They get they 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 tolerate you so they can replace you. They ain't replaced eighty four yet, boy. That's. Boy, that hey. that might be top five nigga to ever play this goddamn game. But you yes, see sir. what happens. You see what, but but you yeah, see what I, those I guys what saw. Mean. They saw Antonio Brown with that kind no, of no, 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 no. Now we not gonna do that. We not we not gonna do that. We not gonna do that. Everybody's their own individual. We not gonna say, oh, George Pickett is only acting like this because of what Antonio Brown did. That's a grown man. A grown man. I'm so. Ocho, hey, hold on, hold on. I got one for you. I got one. I got one better for you. When George did George Pickens do what he's doing now at Georgia? Did he have any or was he was he an angel? Was he a saint at Georgia? Or did he have issues? I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't know his history. I don't know his history either. But, but you I'm have sure to there understand Ocho, college coaches, college coaches are a little right. different. It's a little bit more iron fisted. They yeah, run yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Saban runs yeah. Alabama. Kirby Smart yes, runs sir. Georgia. They run your ass off <laughs> if you keep this kind of behavior. It's a lot right. different than a, than an right. NFL program. But what I'm yes, saying sir. is, is that I've always tried to be mindful, right. Ocho, of behaving a certain way because I know people yeah. was watching me. And so what you don't want to have happen, when they start enjoying a little mm. success, they see Ocho Cinco bull driving. They see Ocho Cinco not blocking. They see Ocho showing up late for meetings. They see Ocho showing up late for practice. There's a reason why they say we try to get bad apples mm. out of the locker room. Because why, Ocho? Influence. There's a reason why. Do you? You say, oh, that's a grown man. Do you see? You follow politics no, a little I bit. I don't you like, I don't like some... politics. I okay. don't like politics. But go ahead. Okay, religion. Religion. The pastor, he has it. He says a cur yeah. certain thing, and they right, follow right, him, right. don't they? That's a grown man. Why they listen to somebody else? That's what you're talking about, Ocho. Come on. I like, I like, hey, listen. It matters. I like, I like where you're going with it, but I ain't buying it. I like where you're going with it. I like the way you explained it, but I ain't going with it. I ain't, I ain't going for that. George Pickens is his own man. George Pickens is his own player. He has his own style of play. He has the way he's always acted since he was, who knows, since, he, since he's been playing football. When you make it to the NFL, you are yourself. Nobody else is going to dictate how you act based on what you've seen them do. That's not. That, That's not true. Okay. That's not true. That's not true. You don't think so? 
Let me ask you a question. You ever seen this go take place in New England? You was there. Who? Why didn't it take place in New England? Why don't we see this kind of behavior, on the field behavior, the holding, the false right. start penalty, the jumping mm -hmm. outside, the lack of right. David play? Why don't we see that they in New England? don't play that shit up there, boy. Well, hold on, watch it. Those are grown men. They could do what they – Now, under boy, what you said, listen. you said they're well, – you said, no, 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 I want you to listen. You said they are grown men, and grown men are going to do what right. they want to do. Now, I need you to explain to me why grown men in New England behave as opposed to grown listen, men in Pittsburgh. Everybody in New England, when I was there, is expendable, boy. You hear me? Stay with me real quick, man. Stay with me. Let me talk to you. <laughs> everybody, let, let me take my glasses off. Let me take my hat off so you understand how serious I am. Everybody in New England during my time there during that era, was expendable except one centerpiece, and that was 12. You fuck around. Damn, I, I keep cursing. I'm sorry, Aunt. You, you mess around and you act up during that era, during that regime, with the talent we had on the team, you're out of there. It, it, man, it, man, listen. It's different from top to bottom. It's different from top to bottom, the way they run that ship over there, because we don't need any of these pieces as long as we got that centerpiece in 12. Boy. You see why? But you see, but see what he did is he laid the yeah. foundation. Jimmy Johnson was the exact yes, same way. You see, you never reward negative right. behavior. If someone, if, see, a kid doesn't know, a child doesn't know the difference between right and wrong unless there's a correction right. Right, for the right, wrong. Right. You see what happens? They started rewarding mm. negative behavior. He said, he said George Pickens is too, is too mm -hmm. talented for him to do like any type right, of right. punishment. He said he can't bench him because he's too talented. You see, you've rewarded. My grandpa yeah. used to always say, boy, you never reward mm. negative behavior. If a child act up, why would I give right. him ice cream? Why would I right. give him candy? Why would I mm. take him to the beach? Why would I take him to the zoo? Why mm. would I take him to the amusement park when he acts his yeah. ass? Because I'm rewarding negative well, behavior. I'm telling him, if you behave mm. in this manner, this is the way to well, get what you want. So what's the well, repercussions? Well, technic well, for well George technically, Pickens? in hindsight, the repercussions, he's feeling it. Because he's, he's not being utilized. He, he's not being utilized. He's not putting up the numbers he should be based on you what I me. know he can do. Again, people in the chat, I can't even see the chat right now. I'm not saying what he's doing is okay. I'm just giving you logical reasons as a former receiver. There is no I, reason. Okay. All right. There's no reason for not doing right. your job. So you mean to tell me I can come I, to my work and say because I got something yeah. on my mind, I can't do my job like sometimes, I'm supposed to. Is that hey, what you're telling me? Oh, so, sometimes they happen. Question. Sometimes they happen. Listen, stay with me real quick. You ever been in a relationship, right? You ever been in a yes. relationship and you get in an argument, you get in an argument at work and you're at work and it, affa it, affa no. it affects you at work. Stuff like that affects I, I don't, you. I don't talk. Does. I didn't. I didn't talk. I didn't talk to my. I didn't talk to my. I didn't talk to my girlfriends at work. I'm no, at work. See, and I. And see, what did I tell you? You, you just on? missed everything I just said. Sometimes, before you leave the house, you get in an argument. Okay. And it affects you when you go to work. It messes up your whole day. Everybody in the chat, they they know exactly what I'm talking about, and I know y'all, all of us, done been through it. But I understand Ocho, what you mean. What did I tell you? But in this case. Oh, you can't afford to do it. You can't be at, you have a job to do. Catch, block, and score touchdowns. Two, two, Ocho. he does two of the three. Two of the three. Remember, I remember I told yeah. you, Ocho? What did I tell all my girlfriends? I can bring work home, but I can never mm. take you to work. If I got to take you to work, I got Wait to a let minute. you go. Stop right there. Come on back. Bring me, bring that to me again. <laughs> yeah. I can bring work home, but I can never take mm. you to work because if I got, if I take you to work now, that's interfering with my ability to do my job. Because at the end of the day, I'm paid to do a job. A man is paying me an honest day, uh, yes, an honest sir. day's salary. I got to give him an honest day's work right. free. My mind right. must be free. I like that. When you step on that field, your mind must be free. I approach practice right. like a game because I wanted to become mm -hmm. second nature. I wanted everything right. to be second nature. Just like I wake up, I brush my teeth, I put mm -hmm. my clothes on, I tie my shoes, right. I'm out the door. That's what practice led mm -hmm. into the game. I couldn't right. get it wrong because I had done it right so mm -hmm. many times. So for that, for from that, you have Ocho. And and look, I understand, Ocho. Everybody does not have the same right. mindset. We, we all, so we all that's different. why it's so hard. We all different. It, 
That's why it's so hard to win a championship mm-hmm. as a team. I mean, if you got if you got a 45 Tom Brady, you're gonna win yeah. a lot of games. But the problem is you don't. And you must be able to take the guys that really, really mm-hmm. want to do it. Because I, I was talking to you. If you notice, mm-hmm. Ocho, people that talk about each other, they do yeah. well together. But if somebody don't want to talk about it, oh, he thinks yeah. he's too good. Yeah. You see, greatness, if you look at great people, they hang together, yeah. they're cool. But average people don't like great people. Great people don't mm-hmm. like average people. And you know why you and I have so much right. success? Because it's less crowded on, up man. here. Because people are okay being average. So that's where it's crowded on, at, man. Ocho. When it's up here, it's yeah. smooth sailing. All you got to do yeah. is work. But people don't mm-hmm. want to work. They want X, Y, and Z, but they're not even willing to do yes, RST. Sir. You see, that that's why I've been able to have the success when people say Shannon don't deserve, Shannon don't deserve anything. You're absolutely right. Shannon mm. earned it because there's an op- there's an opportunity. Everybody has opportunity, and so what I'm willing to do: look at my work schedule, Ocho. You know what it is. Saturday we had yeah. a podcast. Sunday yeah. we had a podcast. Monday I did ESPN. Uh, then we had another podcast. I went did ESPN did ESPN right. on Tuesday. Had tape club Shay Shay. I did a hey, did podcast on Wednesday. T- Hey, ESPN yeah. today. I went and taped another podcast. Now I'm doing doing a, a nightcap yeah. with you. Got ESPN yeah. tomorrow. Well, you, you see working, that? Boy. That's a pr- Ocho. That's right. a price. I cannot ask God to give me something and then complain that you gave me mm. too much. He said you ungrateful. You know what? And he knows how much I hate right. ungrateful. So how can I be ungrateful for someone that gave yeah. me something? You right. You right. Listen, I can't even argue with you at that after that sermon. That that was good there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you you in your feelings right now. So you're very passionate about that. But again, back to the topic at hand. Back at the topic. Yes. George, I know you're going to see this. Baby, hold your head. I know how you're feeling. I know what you're going through. I'm one of the few that can empathize with how you're feeling because I played the position. I know what it's like to be struggling. I know what it's like to be losing and knowing I can contribute, knowing I can help and not getting the opportunities that you may feel you deserve. Keep playing, man. Keep playing. When Buddy running, whether it's Najee or uh, uh, other young fella, other, other young boy, man, Jay you got Warren. to block, boy. Just block. Your, your opportunities yeah. are going to come, man. I'm telling you, better days are ahead, man. Lock in, baby. Ocho, you know how how and why I've always been able to go and stand in front of when I was in high school uh-huh. or college and once I got to mm-hmm. the league, I could stand in front of young men, mm-hmm. older men, some older yes, than sir. I was, and command their attention? Because every man that looked me in my eye and heard my voice know I never asked more than yeah, I was willing yeah. to give. That's what makes you a leader. They've got to know. If you're asking me to do that, I believe Shannon yeah. Sharp would do it. If I believe if Shannon is asking me to stay his stay I ass in, he's yeah. in. The way he eats, the way he trains, you never mm-hmm. ask more than you're mm-hmm. willing to give. You'll never have a problem. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're born great or had greatness thrust mm-hmm. upon you. What are you going to yeah. do with it? Leader is something you're a born leader, but greatness. Some people are mm-hmm. born great. Some people have greatness thrust mm-hmm. upon them. What are you going to do with that greatness? Yeah. I like that. Well, you preach. Well, you preaching today, boy. We just started. Well, you born hey, up. What? <laughs> Who got the offering plate? That was that was that was ooh, that was nice there. I know George George's gonna see this and why watch George's gonna see this, but I bet you don't have no goddamn problems at my dog no more. Hold on. Uh Jay Avery said, Come on, Ocho, you're backtracking. Stop broadcasting that you aren't trying to be knowledgeable and admitting to being unprepared. You started yo scattering like Parsons. I don't I don't even know what he's talking about. He must not be listening. He hearing what he want to hear. Because I done already said it was wrong. So how you even find something negative to say about what I'm talking about and I already said he was wrong? I was just giving reasons on why he might be feeling the way he does based on the fact that I played the position for a long time at a very goddamn high level. So what is he talking about? Go ahead, man. You hear, uh, He hearing that... what he want to hear, man. <laughs> okay. Randy Moss was on Kevin hey. Hart's show, Cold as hey. Ball. He said he's the GOAT receiver over Jerry Rice. He said, as a guest, though, he says, Moss made the case for his status. He says, hands down, I consider myself the greatest wide receiver to ever play the game. That wasn't a shot at Jerry. I still got respect 
and love for Jerry. But I thought that way that I changed the game. Ocho, talk to me now. I was in the I talk was in the me. league. I, I was in the league when when T.O. Yeah. played. I was in the league when Randy yeah. Pay played. I was in the league yes, when Jerry sir. played. And I, uh, it ain't close. You can debate a lot of there. There are two, there are two positions. I think now there's what three you mean positions. It ain't close? No, Whoa. it ain't close. Wait, which part? Wait, it ain't close. The close that the close at what whatever metric whatever metric you want to use. You want to use yards. You want to use touchdowns. You want to use catches. You want to use rings. You want to use all pros. You want to use Pro Bowls. You want to use yard, longevity. What do you want to use? What metric do you want to use? You saw Randy Moss play, right? You seen T.O. play, right? Yes. Are we, They're my top three. Them, they, oh, them, them your top three? Jerry yes. Rice, statistically, yes. is the greatest of all time based on the numbers yes. that he was able to attain over a very long period of time. Very productive. Randy Moss and T.O. are the greatest receivers to ever play in the history of this game. The greatest. Based on what? What are you basing that on? What are you basing it on? Just skill in general, being wide receivers. Just wide receivers. Uh, Fuck, excuse me. I, you know what? Why do I keep cursing today? Forget the numbers. I don't care. I don't, How? I don't care. I'm, te I'm telling you, I don't care nothing about them numbers. I'm talking about what they did on the field and how they transcended the Did position. you not see Jerry? What? Did you not see yeah. Jerry? Have you seen Moss and T.O.? What is you talking about? Jerry has... Have Jerry you seen Moss and T.O.? Hold on. Jerry has 7,000 more yards than Moss. He has 44 more touchdowns than Moss. He has 600 more catches than Moss. He has six more... All pro first team, seven more than Moss. He has seven, eight. He has seven more Man, uh, for is, uh, uh, Pro Bowl is, than Moss. Is, you is, can't is, forget is, the numbers why, why, when the, I, it's I a hate, numbers game. I hate this number game. I hate this number game when it comes to talent and skill set and, and, and how, like, Randy Moss and T.O. Oh. clear every fucking body. Everybody. I don't you care nothing damn, about man. no numbers. I'm telling you. T.O., do you, I mean, T.O., Ocho, do you understand how ridiculous you're sounding saying disregard the numbers when I you play a, when you play a speak? You do, hold on. Why, so why is catches, why are you, so if the numbers don't matter, why are you clamoring for George Pickens to get catches and touchdowns and yards? It don't matter. You just no, said no, no, they no, don't no. matter. We were talking about, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about talent and skill and you know, you know who else is, you know what, you know, let's, let's stay with me, baby. Stay with me. Don't get frustrated. I I'm love you. you. I'm with you. You know who else is in that conversation? Because we'll never see nothing like that again. Calvin Johnson. Like it's, it's something different. Jerry is great. Jerry is great in all that he did, but it's something about Moss and Tio. And I can't even explain. I can't even put into words. People in the chat, you, you would have to really love the game of football, uh, coaches or or, or 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 players from the past to even understand what i mean the fact that i really want to get really passionate about it but i can't break it down the way i want Go ahead. i can't i can't break it you can't because Listen, you because you i can't break it down the way i want to it. because everything the focal point of everything is numbers but because you play a sport that numbers matter at time numbers can't even tell the whole story based on moss saying he's the greatest to ever play the game but but, but listen okay, but, what, no but what, 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 with what he's saying I'm putting Randy 1A, T.O. 1B. Or you can flip off either, either way. I love what Jerry did. It was phenomenal. It will probably never be reached. Even with the extended games and playing 17 games, it just, for me, for me, I understand what Moss mean. I understand what he mean. And he didn't, have to, and he, he didn't even have to go in depth with the numbers. He didn't have to go in depth. He feels he's the greatest because of a certain skill set. Feelings aren't back. Who? Feelings aren't Listen, it's, back. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain because everybody will debunk his case because of the numbers. That's it. Ocho. I'm, I'm just Ocho. telling you. I'm just how telling you. How can you say, some, Ocho, some, how can you say some, numbers listen, don't matter? I don't know how to explain it. I just said that. I'm just telling because, you, you know what? I seen them boys with my own eyes, man. I seen them boys up close with my own eyes. 
We ain't never seen nothing like that 81. Neither one of them 81s. You think you're going to see? You just said you'll never see what Jerry did again. 208 total touchdowns. So you times tell me the person is going to score 200. Times are different now. Times are different now. And that, thank you. You know what? I'm glad you said that because they didn't throw the ball like they do now. They didn't throw the ball in Jerry's Give area. me. That motherfucking West Coast offense Jerry was in with goddamn Steve Young and motherfucking Joe Montana. And, and they Joe. What? What you talking about? They ain't throw the ball. Don't do that. I did, Don't do that. You think they, they throw, throw the ball. So you think... Huh, Man, now this man gonna tell what me. You mean? I was, I was this there. What you talking about? How you mean? How you was there? I, I was, was there. there I played a lot. Ocho, I played the lion's share of my career in the West Coast. I know. Coast I was system. the ball boy. I was the ball boy for the 49ers. Hello. Here's here's Jerry Rice. Jerry is a 13 time Pro Bowl, a 10 time All go. Pro, a three time Super Bowl champion, again. a three a Super Bowl MVP, and two time Offensive Player of the Year. Randy Moss is a six-time Pro Bowler, a four-time All-Pro, no Super Bowls, no MVPs, no regular season MVPs, okay? Y'all okay. don't there. understand. The people throwing at all them fucking numbers just don't understand. Y'all just don't y'all, y'all. What, don't don't, what are we missing? Tell me what I'm missing. Tell me what I'm missing. There will never be another T.O. or Randy Moss. But there'll be another Jerry Rice. No. It'd be impossible. It, it'll be impossible to attain that kind why? of. Why? It'll why, why, be impossible. Why is it going to be impossible? impossible? Why? Listen to me, man. It'll be impossible because of the longevity, the longevity, the level of talent and skill has increased. You'll never. You, that's not going to happen again. But hold on. You do realize that Jerry had a hold on. Didn't Jerry have a thousand yard season at age forty? Pull that up. I just, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure for context because you say you love for people to provide yeah. context. The yeah. greatness of Jerry. Shoot. Hey, I want to talk about the greatness of motherfucker Moss and T.O. Shit. Okay. We, oh, oh, I love it. I, hey. I, that's why, that's why hey, I requested great. this topic. What was, Jerry, what was Jerry's? Great. Boy, I hate, I hate, boy, hey, boy. At 40. It's, 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 hey, hey, it's, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice at right. age 40 had 1,211 with, with yards. The Raiders. If I'm hey, not with mistaken, the Raiders, with, with Rich Gannon? Yes, in 2002. With Rich Gannon? Yes. Give me, give me, uh, I think, I think Randy's last thousand yard season, he might have been 30. So are we are we gonna are we gonna disregard Tennessee? Are we gonna disregard that that return trip to Minnesota? Are we gonna disregard the 49ers? What are we doing about those stints? My name's Chad. I, I, mean, know, I know. I, listen. What I know we gonna we do about like, that? I know we look like we 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 are. We are no, I, but I got I got to stat. I got to stat up here also. Hey, you heard me. Uh. Thirty two. So his last thousand yard season was at thirty two. Jerry's last thousand yard season was at what? Four, at, at 40? Was at forty. At forty. That, that's not. Give me hey, a, a, a. That's nice. That 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 that's real nice. That's real nice, but T.O. was a six-time T.O. was a six-time Pro Bowler, a five-time uh, All-Pro. He's one of three men that's ever been a first-team All-Pro on three different teams. T.O. Uh, the Stork, Ted Hendricks, and one our good friend Prime. Prime Time. They're the only mm -hmm. three men have ever been first-team All-Pro on three different yeah. teams. Hey, T.O. I have a question. Yes. In life. When it comes to what you like, we all have preferences, right? Yeah. Right? And so with those yeah. preferences, there's always context that goes with those preferences based on why you like them. So for me, mm -hmm. Jerry Rice's numbers are great. What Jerry did during his time was great. But for me, my preference as a receiver, and I love them all. You know, I don't talk bad about nobody. You know that about me. I don't talk bad about nobody. Mm -hmm. My preference, based on what I was able to see with my own eyes, up close, on the field, shared a team with T.O. to get a better understanding on his greatness. To me, them two are my Mount Rushmore of receivers. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from what they did statistically. Oh, my gosh. Statistically or what Jerry did statistically. Yeah. Because when it comes to the greatest, when it comes to the, yeah, not even close. That is what Jerry is. 
That's what he is. But you but for said, me, you, but for you, me, I'm, you just I'm said just, you just, just said, said Randy was based a goal. on the numbers. You're not listening to me. You got to stay with me. That's the you're not listening. You hear what you want to hear. You you I you just spent Ocho. You just spent all this time saying Randy was the but, greatest. But, you know, honestly, shit, they all great. They all great. No, they, that, they no, no, great. no, 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 no. That ain't what we do. They, they that ain't what great. we do, Ocho. That ain't what we hey, do. Hey, I have a, I have a question. Yeah, they are. Kobe, yes. LeBron. Michael Jordan. Yeah, there, I got I got they're all great. They're yes. all great. Okay, I just said that. You just agreed to me. And I just said Randy T.O. and Jerry are all great. Same thing. But all I got LeBron number, all as the goat. Different, right? All their numbers are different. I got LeBron as the goat. Everybody knows that I okay, got LeBron. You have as LeBron the as the goat. And okay, yes. you based on statistics, because that's what you would use right now if I would if I if I would try to debunk the fact, right? You use that. Yes. No, no, no. It, but but see, Would here's you, you, the thing, Ocho. I believe, I believe in because here's yeah. the thing. In football, it's hard for a skill position player other than quarterback, the quarterback right. and the running back to win right. the MVP. So, but a Jerry does have two offensive players mm. of the year. He should actually he should have won. MVP he should have won the 80, MVP 87 in 87. Or 88. 87. 87. 87. Yeah. The strike, he the strike year, yeah, 80, 87. Oh, 87. He should have won the MVP. I think he lost it by mm -hmm. one vote to yeah. John. But when you, if you, if I want people to go, because we're going to do a poll. Who do we think the greatest receiver of all time is? Randy, uh, T.O., or Jerry? If you go look at the numbers know. and you see how far Jerry, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, if you see how far the numbers and you see the, 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 the accolades, I just don't know how. And it's not. You I know can how, see. You know how? Okay. It, you know. You know how? How? Because I play. I play yeah. receiver, and I've seen them boys up close, and I know what they can do, and I've seen it. I've seen it. I don't know how to fucking put it in the words. I don't know how to explain it. But when if dog that shit, we ain't seeing nothing like that again, man. And goddamn, throw Calvin Johnson in that motherfucker. Uh, Why wow, I'm cursing today? God forgive me. My bad. Unk. I'm sorry. Right. Right now, we got 3,000 votes. Jerry has 56% of the vote. Randy has 35. T.O. has 9%. We'll check. We'll circle back with that later. Uh, let's go. Simone Biles. Hey. Husband. You know who Simone Biles yeah. is, the gymnast. Um, Simone Biles' husband said he didn't know who she was when they met. Said he's whoa, the kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Simone Biles. Come on, man. Come. Stop playing, man. Stop. Thank you. Thank you, Ocho. He said what? He the who? He appeared on... He said he's the catch. Simone Biles and Jonathan Owens appeared on the Pivot podcast this week, which is Ryan, uh, Ryan Clark, uh, Fred Taylor, and Shannon Crowder's podcast. Guys do a great job. I love you guys. You know, I work with Ryan. Uh, I saw Freddie T and, uh, and Channing them at the, uh, right, at right. the fight. At the uh, 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 Bud Crawford and... Uh, uh, Errol, Errol. What's the other guy? Errol, 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 Errol fight. Like Errol yeah. Flynn, Errol mm -hmm. Spence Jr. And I saw them and got an opportunity to really uh, uh, talk to them. For this man to fix his mouth, to say he has he had no idea who Simone Biles was, and supposedly mm -hmm. they went in 2020. Now, that was the time of the Olympics. Now, the Olympics got postponed a year, but she was he the lied. face. She was the face of the American gym, uh, of Olympics. Maybe she, man, he lied. He lied. But... And here's the Ocho. And here's another thing. They're on this dating site for famous people. Why the hell is he on there? I get why she's on it. They got a dating site. My they question, got a dating site for famous people. They got a. It's called Ryder. It's called uh, Ryder. Why they on there? Why it's they called got Instagram? And, they got Instagram and X and X or Twitter. But it, 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 it offers a, it offers a, a level of ah. protection because she is Simone right. Biles, and you know she just can't be you know. Be, Talking to any yeah, weirdos, yeah, yeah. so I, I guess I guess mm -hmm. they vetted it. My, I have no, I have no qualms mm -hmm. on why she oh, on that site. My question is, why hold is on, he? On? What was that word you just said? What okay, qualms? Write that down because I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that I'm gonna use that in conversation right there. But I like that, boy. <laughs> so that's my my thing, and and for him to talk about he's right, the cat, right, 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 right. What kind of cat, man? Hey, I I get it. I I get it because look here. This is how you know you're not mm -hmm. the catch. When everybody refers to you as Simone Instead Biles. Of by husband. your first name. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Simone Biles. I, I think, he, I think he understands and, that. 
I mean, he, he understands that. I think he knows it. And I think Simone is allowing him to, to be the man and make it seem as if, you know, you, you are the one, you know, but right. the rest of the world will always see him as Simone Biles husband. And that, and that's, that's no, no disrespect to him. Um, he does his thing, you know, with the Packers, but Simone Biles is a global, iconic figure, global, uh, iconic figure. Yes, I mean the the most accomplished, uh, most gymnast. decorated. I mean she had she has she has moves mm -hmm. the Biles. They even did. She got moves that she can't even do in competition mm -hmm. because nobody yeah. else can do the moves. Yeah. Wait, is she is the and she is the most him, decorated, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. As far as those, I mean, look how many times she's won the world mm -hmm. championships. Look how many times she's won the U.S. championship. Uh, Larissa Latinina, the great mm -hmm. Russian. Um, but Simone is what? Look, yeah, yeah, Ocho, yes, yeah. I yo, you got your, you say you Paul like damn. This mofo know everything. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I yeah, I know about I yeah. I know about Larissa okay, Latinina. I I know about Olga Corbett. I know about okay. Nadia Oh, Komanich. I know about Nadia Komanich. And Fetlana yeah, Bogenskaya. Yeah. yeah, yes, yes, yeah, I know yes. about my gymnastics now. Don't do not do that. I used, I, I used to work the balance beam in high school. Yeah. I used to work the balance beam in high school. But I, that, I just... That would, be a, that would be a fun relationship in the offseason, though. Like competing. What? Competing. Flipping okay, them too, just just going at it, competing in different different things that have to that have to test your athletic. She's ability. explosive, Ocho. Huh? Ocho. She's only four. She's only four foot tall. Maybe she weighs a hundred right. pounds. I don't think she right, weighs right. that much. But she to be able, you understand. She, you have to be able to how how wound how tight she's wound, right, wound right, right, right. to be able to hit those right. moves and to yeah. tumble. And to locate and to right. come down because a lot of those moves she's doing mm -hmm. in reverse. Hey, when she when she let me tell you go something. Ahead. Let me tell you something about tumbling. Back in the days, Scott Projects in the eighties, the mattresses. You know we had the two mattresses, right? You take the two mattresses. Yeah. When, when your mama, mommy, your mama make you change the mattresses, you know, talk about yeah. throw them away, put them on the put them on the put them on the pile so they can come pick them up. Man, we ain't put we ain't put the mattress on the pile. You get you get two of them. You get your homeboy mattress. Get your mattress. Boom! What you think we out there doing? Flipping. That's how Flipping. we started. I never forget Scott Project. Look hey, Scott Projects. Lucky you ain't break your yeah, damn oh, neck. Oh no, but we can flip now. <laughs> we can flip. So that was our that was our gymnastics. Scott Projects. Me and Snoop Minutes. You remember Marvin Minutes, right? Remember Mar yeah. Man, listen, man. We used to battle on who could flip who could flip the best. That that to me that's an exciting relationship because. If I was if I was him, I'd be challenging her every off season. To do what? No, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like put push the envelope, push the envelope. Let Bro, her, let her, here. let her. That's push like the envelope. Ocho, that's like saying if you if you was if you dating Shakari Richards, say, come on, baby, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna blow the door oh, off. Oh, oh, we gonna race? We do thirty, thirty yard, thirty meters. 30 meters. <laughs> you gonna hey, smoke sir, she gonna have you pull it. She gonna have you pulling your hand no, 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 your groin like, and your oh, ass. Now muscle. you know I'm in shape, baby. I'm in very good shape. But I, I said 30 meters because I know I can get I can get out. I know I can get out. But once she Ocho. but my drive phase is nice. Oh, you got to see my drive phase. My drive Ocho. phase is like Ocho. that. Now. Ocho, check this out. But see, this this is the difference between football speed right. and track speed. But I got I got track because speed though. I got track speed. <laughs> listen, it's th it's three. Listen, stay with me, baby. It's three different phases in running. You got the drive phase. You got the yes. drive phase. Yes, yes. You hear me? And that's what that's what yes. I am. I'm a driver. I'm like Christian Coleman. You see, I had the fastest. I got the fastest <laughs> five, ten, and twenty. That's why I made my money. Man, there ain't a whole lot of there ain't a whole right. lot of men that's not professional, yeah. not not right, track right. stars. Beck and I rush right. Gary Rich. Oh, oh, well, she, hey, listen, she'll beat everybody. She, she'll be. I'm talking about you. She beat your well, ass. That's why I, only, what, what, I said 30 meters. I don't want to go no further than 30 because don't embarrass me. I don't, I don't okay. care. I don't care if it's 10 meters. Okay. See, you're doing me wrong. You're doing me wrong. I just told you my start. I just told you my Ocho, start is like. You're not used to getting in no blocks. Ocho, you're not used to being How in no blocks. I train with Fred Curley. How you going to tell me I used to be in no blocks? 
You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get on when I when I'm done here, I'm gonna get on the phone with Curly. Call and I'm Fred call and ask Fred if we don't train together <laughs> at Tropical Park. I train with Fred. Okay. I will yeah, get and me, listen, I will get me and Fred with. do block work together. We do two fifties, three hundred. Yeah. Like I'm like that. Well, first of all, you doing them two fifties and three hundred ain't gonna help you in no thirty. No, I'm years, just so I know I'm, I was I was helping them. him train and talking shit in his ear just to get him prepared for a meet. Simone Biles is a uh, thirty times. She won thirty uh, world uh, Damn, medals, twenty three goals, six to, uh, six six time world all around titles. She's the first woman to win six yeah. all around titles. Twenty thirteen to 15, 18 to nineteen, and she did it again. And twenty twenty three. And she was just awarded the uh, presidential Biden award uh, mm -hmm. medal of freedom. Right. Um, but I, you know, dope. let's just say, let's just say for the sake yes, of sir. argument, and I don't think anybody in their right mind think he doesn't, he didn't know who mm -hmm. she was. And let's just yeah. say that. But, to, but to try to fix that mouth and try to, oh, I'm right. the catch, bro. You not, bro. You not. Listen, maybe, you, maybe, you, why, why, maybe. What if it's a good thing? Maybe they have the, the, the dynamic in their relationship where she's allowing him to have fun. Sometimes women, sometimes well, women play that game. You know what? I know who I am. I know what I've, I, I've accomplished, but I don't want to make it seem like I am bigger than my man. So it's okay. It's okay. But Ocho, you un Ocho, unless you are Jay-Z and you married Beyonce, who in the hell else could Beyonce be with that she's not going to be bigger than? And I look, I don't want to start in the room, but LeBron yeah. James, I mean, you got to get something. Think about it. More times than not, there are only about probably about five men on the world, in the world, that Beyonce could be with that she's not going to be bigger than. You know what? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even touching that. That's, 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 that's that, no, but I'm just, I, I, I'm just I, I, saying I, I, that's I, I, Beyonce. Yeah, I see you going. So, but there, another there, thing, but Taylor Swift. There, there are there, you know, there there are billionaires that we don't know about that are that are under under under. Un, but yeah. that's the point. Don't right, nobody okay, know okay, about okay. them. That's why they want to own professional right. teams so that you right, can right. know about them. That's mm -hmm. my point. Taylor Swift. How many men in the world right now is that if they if that Taylor Swift ain't gonna get top billing? Boy. Listen, the in the in the these are these are people that the, the, <laughs> do you see yeah, what the NFL the, does? Do you see yeah. what the NFL does when she yeah, show up the, the game? There are very few people that have that type of, I call it <laughs> that that type of aura, huh? life changing, yes. life changing. Yes. If they're attached to you, it will change your life. Which is why normally you can't even tell people like that to date up. Where the fuck you going? Where yes. where are you going? Jesus, God, you, you, I mean, you, 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 already, date up. you already at the top. Yeah, yes. that, hey, that's 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 dope when you think about it. That's crazy. Yes, that's crazy. The, the, oh, like Oprah. Uh, oh, yeah, how many people get get Oprah? Come on, man. Not, it is listen, what it is. And lucky, and, matter, you, and, and you know, matter of fact, and you know, uh, Ocho, when you date somebody right. like that or you marry right. somebody like that, you got to be real secure oh, yeah. in yourself because they gonna get top yeah. billing. Yeah, you right. You right. You right by that. And when I think about that, when I think about their dynamic, you know. Beautiful couple, but that's similar to that of Oprah and Stedman. You know, maybe he could just play. He could just play the back. He could just play the background, at, like the way Stedman does. He let let Simone take all the, all the shine, all the glory. What's she gonna do anyway? Because of who she is, she's an iconic figure, and I think he understands that. Yes, right. Think about it. Uh, she said in an interview, in a couple of years, nobody is going to be calling him Simone Biles' hey. husband. They're going to call me Jonathan Owings' oh, wife. Yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna happen, baby. Yeah, that's what, that's that ain't what, gonna happen. That's so let's, that's uh, a wife. You hear that? Yeah, I yes. like that. She, but she, but see, think about it. She, I mean, she's already four ten, so she has to even shrink herself even mm. more. It's okay mm. for one spouse to be bigger right. than the other. It's okay for the female to be top mm -hmm. billing. You know what you you know what you're getting yeah. yourself into. Yeah. So I, I listen, but it's I, it. I mean, look, I could be totally wrong, but it sounds like to me she's saying that because I think in her profile she got Jonathan Owens' hey. wife. Am I correct? I, I I think I think she wants to make him feel better because unless he unless he turned into Ed Reed, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell him. Hey, I don't know. or Dion. He gonna listen, turn John, to Jonathan Owen is a, is a is a very very good player. I love him to death. But 
she got she got in her profile she got a ring wife at J O N. That's the first thing she got. Then she got Olympic hmm. gold medalist. Then she got Mar Margarita and Mimosas hmm. lover. Then she got Dog Mom. Then she got Houston. Then she got Snapchat Listen, Simone Biles. What's the first thing she got? What's the first thing in her profile again? A ring, wife at J O. That's all that matter right there. That's all. That's that's, that's, yeah. that's all that matter right there. Brother J. Hey, hold on. You say no, oh, but hold on. This is what he got on his athlete. Just a kid from St. Louis, wife at Simone Biles. You notice the difference? What she got uh -huh. first, what he got yeah. first. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You okay. I'm just making sure y'all be hey. I'm just just putting that out there. Cause you told me you like context. Yeah. And I want to provide you make sure I'm providing you. That was good context. context. I like it. I like it. And it's, 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 they, they are a cute Florida, couple. Cute couple. Yes. Yes. Uh, a Florida man catches a gator in a garbage bin. I don't know if hey, you've seen whoa, whoa, whoa. Florida? Gators? Yeah. Man, Unc, man, yeah. we had them things when we were shorties, now. Nah. Yeah. You ain't had no gators with that far up in Liberty City. <laughs> Boy, and Opelaka, man, on in the canal. Boy, the gators right there. That ain't nothing new. But go ahead and finish. Yeah, but... Go ahead and finish. Uh, so he caught him. He caught him in a garbage bin. I saw that. You ever had... You ever had it running no, for the game? I'm in the hood. You know, they did not to the hood. If they are in the hood, wait, listen, that's let me my tell point. You, it, when they are in the hood, in which I saw, they were very frequent back back in the day. We talk about early, early, late, late eighties, early nineties. For some reason, yes, I don't the D. I'm I don't want to say the D word. The D boys. You get where I'm going? A few yeah. of them, yeah. purposely with yeah, had, had gators. gators. When they got a little too big, they let them go in the canal. But I, I I don't know what it was. My homeboy, remember Darnell Dockett? Darnell yeah. Dockett had him a goddamn gator. I'm not sure what he did with him, but obviously when they get to a certain size, you got to let him go. But for some reason, there was a fad at some point in, in Florida, in Liberty City, probably other places as well, where people had goddamn gators. You go to the games at Miami-Dade Community College, you got dudes in there off the Ave, off 61st. You don't know about 61st, but anyway, they had they had little gators with them and they had tape around the mouth. Oh. I don't know what for. Oh, Joe. Because they don't want you to bite them. Because all the pressure is Oh, yeah, I understand down. that. But I'm you saying, can keep... why would you have gators at the game with the leash and the collar and all? I mean, it just... it just Because it you want to look cool. It, yeah. It's the same thing why these people get these pythons. They get these snakes that they're going to know they're going to go right. too big right. for you to handle them. They release in the them in the wild. They have no natural right. predator. And now they just run through... Now they run get through big. the habitat. Get huge. Yeah. Get huge. Because if you don't have a, if you don't have a natural yeah. predator... They just grow right. and grow and, and grow. multiply. And so now, yeah. You like snakes? You, yeah, you so like they snakes? want. Huh? No, I don't I'm like so, snakes. So, I mean, you, are you scared of them? Like, if someone. Was, I'm not scared of snake. I kill hell out of them. What? what now, I ain't going to do that to Because we would grow. We look. Oh, yeah, we were growing country, up. I'm, tripping. I'm yeah. from the country. And I ain't have no problem. But we we had them. I mean, we had a uh, uh, rat, snake, right, chicken, right, snake. Right. If you have rats, you're going right, to have right. snakes. It's as right. simple as that. And my grandma would be cooking and had a three and the boy, here come one, trying to mm -hmm. come into the house, come get him. Me and my brother go down there and break, break him out real proper. <laughs> well, what, we break him out real proper. Is there an animal if you came in contact with that you would be scared of? With just my just my naked hand, yeah, just my just, bare yeah, hand? Just, just hypothetically uh, speaking. Pro yeah, pro yeah, yeah, sure. Like, not a fox. I'm not a scared. I'm not afraid. You know, fox, a they, rabbit they so fox, little. I already know they're going to. They, they vicious. They tear your ass up, though. <laughs> With the bushy tail? Yeah. They're yeah. not, they not aggressive, Don't though, let are that they? Bushy... Not right. normally. Not okay. normally. Not normally. Uh, But probably like a bobcat, you know, a, a, a cougar, oh, mountain lion, shit. whatever you want to call them. Stuff oh. like that. But, you know, when we when we, we right. grew up, you know, we saw bobcats mm -hmm. and we stuff. They normally... Don't bother you. They're, they're as afraid of you as right, you right. are them. Same thing mm -hmm. with a snake. I mean, now obviously, you know, snake. If they got anything that has mm -hmm. babies, they're gonna oh, protect yeah. their babies. Oh, yeah. So you just have to be mm -hmm. careful. Like you know, snake has. You know, they're gonna mm -hmm. protect those. Uh, uh, like a corch whip. Now they're aggressive, uh -huh. but you know, we don't. We don't, a corch whip. Is that? They pop you with their tail. I ain't never. I ain't never heard of that. That's you the never first heard? time. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. My grandma, my great grandma, my grandmother, right, granny's right. mom, got. Stumbled across one and she got too close. I guess she had a, had a nest somewhere. Got too close. My grandma had scarlet. Yeah, ah. yeah. 
But now, I, but I don't really, I don't really fear a whole lot of animals. Uh, I mean, I, I I respect them. I don't really just like for me like snakes because I knew snakes. The snakes that we were killing was trying to eat my right, grandmother's right, chickens. Right. So and, and not 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 per se the chickens, but the biddies. And if I shot, if we shot something like a a, 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 a possum or a raccoon, they was trying to eat my right. grandmother's chicken. And so that was a no no. There was those were like even though we really didn't eat right. the chickens. After we got to a certain point, my grandmother would go buy the chickens. She just liked having right. them out there. And so anything, she like, boy, something after them chickens. Me and my brother get up, get the flashlight, mm-hmm. see what it is. We start blasting. Oh, that's crazy. You know what? What, what about, <laughs> okay, animal you scared of. What about your favorite? Your favorite animal, I'm assuming, is the dog because you, you love dogs with that. Dog, dog, yeah. But if I could get if I could get another animal, I want a pet raccoon so bad. There are can you, domesticate, I want a pet can you raccoon. domesticate a raccoon? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Real? A mini horse, a mini cow, a mini uh donkey. A donkey, like like a lot of yeah, a little miniature donkey. Let me, just that's be, as big as they get. So yep. I, I could I could see I could see you get, I could see you doing money. all that when you retire and you hang everything <laughs> up. You go get you some nice land somewhere and have all yeah that. yeah. My my, my favorite yeah. my favorite animal, obviously for those people that have been following me over the years, my entire right side of my leg from the waist all the way to the ankle is killer whales you know i love killer whales they have a fascination and love for killer whales obviously you know what they call killer whales orcas you know what they call the killer whales wolves oh yeah wolves in the sea oh yeah yeah most definitely most definitely they're the only thing they they, they'll attack they'll attack anything they're so smart anything i mean there's not a there's not a whale that they i mean Mm -hmm. other whales that i mean sperm Mm -hmm. whale humpback you know they got Gray. they got they got different types of they got different types of orcas. Some of them trans transient orcas, resident orcas. Transient orcas are more prone to attack seals, dolphins, and other orcas like that. And dude, I have mm-hmm. just if I didn't make it to the NFL, if I didn't make it to the NFL, um, you know, I I know I play around a lot, and I obviously you can tell based on my tone and delivery, I'm being serious. I wanted to be a marine biologist and study killer whales. It was it was it was it was it was, either, it was that or a veterinarian, dude. It was something something about yeah, killer whale I, that they my, my grandma took me long time ago to Sea World. Lolita passed away recently, and I didn't understand how bad it was for killer whales being held up held in captivity. Oh, that yeah, captivity, until, yeah. Until I saw blackfish. Did you see the documentary Blackfish? Blackfish. Yeah. So until I saw that, then I got a better understanding, and and never went and never went anymore, and just did my my. My love for them now is I'm waiting to go to Norway or New Zealand. You know, they have, um, God, uh, oh, you can go out there and track them it, and you can man, find you, them in the natural get, habitat. You can get in yeah. the water, though. You can get in the water. I don't want to no, get in the water. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm, ta- I'm, ta- I'm taking real with me. I don't think real going to get in the water, but I'm, I'm going to get in the water and snorkel with them. I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm just, I mean, gr- growing up in the country and you're around, you're around. I mean, my grandfather yeah. had hogs, so that's what he mainly had. And he had, we had dogs, obviously. My grandmother ended up getting a cat from, she found it at the nursing home and brought it home and had one cat. The next thing you know, Tiger Gal, my grandmother named it Tiger Gal, and we had 25 Damn. cats. But uh, yeah, man, they made, man, um, but you know, when you have, when you, you grow up on a farm, you just have a just like, man. You just, I mean, like I said, we had hogs, we had names, we had a a, a, a Hampshire, which is a black and white, named Sonny. He was the biggest right. one we had. He probably weighed five hundred pounds. We had a do rock male named mm. Kelly that didn't play, didn't play the fiddle. <laughs> uh, he tear ass up. We had one named right. Bill. We had, we had, we had a, 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 a I think Bill was a probably a, a mm. Yorkshire, Bill and uh, a Marvin, big white right. males. But, but but we had to, we had to keep them separated. Uh, but Sonny. Sonny was was our, was our favorite. My grandfather's like once my uncles and aunts, everybody start mm-hmm. having kids. Um, they weren't around, and so he like felt that he might attack it. But he had tusks. He had tusks like this. Me and my brother could let him out and walk him around the yard like right. he was a dog. Ocho, rub him on his side. That five hundred pound joker just rolled over. <laughs> That's dope. That's and dope. my grandma, granny like holler at the window, boy, put that hog back up. <laughs> So <laughs> hey, hog, hogs dangerous. So, hogs aggressive and dangerous, ain't it? Oh no, that's warthogs. That's warthogs. My bad, my bad. Warthogs. No, 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 no. It it all depends. Now the females, especially if they have if they have a litter, they have right. piglets. They light okay, you up, okay, Ocho. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. They don't play. They don't play. They don't play. They don't play yeah. about their babies. And so you have to be you have to be very very careful because yeah, 
because we had a couple of them that would uh, did some damage to our dogs that the dog got too close to him and mm. I uh, took a hundred stitches to close Ooh. him up. She didn't play. She cut him everywhere. With, she cut him everywhere <laughs> but loose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Joe, we had to go. We had to. We had to. We had. She. She'd have yeah. killed him. If we didn't get in there, yeah. she'd have killed him. That's crazy. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah. So that's that's my thing. Uh, who else we got? Off the grid said Jerry played. Jerry played bulk bulk of his career with Hall of Famers. Uh, Randy didn't. Yeah, we. Hey, I don't even. I. Hey, I don't even want to argue. I don't even want to argue the fact. We, no more. <laughs> we don't move I, yeah, on. I, we, we don't, don't move on. on. I love Randy and Tio. Okay. That ain't never gonna move the needle for me. I love what Jerry did. No disrespect to him. I love the numbers. I've watched this film. I've studied this film. I've tried to copy some of the things he did when he played. He was someone that I studied and admired. But for me, my preference, all the fellas in the chat, all the women in the chat, you guys have preferences when it comes to other things outside of this. I know we base yes. everything on numbers when it comes to sports. But for me, I'm excluding the numbers based on what I, what I saw with my own eyes and who I prefer. That's all. Donnell Thompson said, Jerry's like Brady. He's the most accomplished, but not the greatest receiver. Uh, Shannon, Ooh. you can understand that. No. Brady is the, Brady is the greatest hey, quarterback. I like I like the way he broke that down. I couldn't I couldn't no. say it, but you just, he just said it for me. That was nice. Let me ask you a question. Name the quarterback better than Brady. Huh? Name the quarterback better than Brady. Na name a quarterback. Name the quarterback. Name the quarterback that played in the – a uh, hundred and three year history of the NFL that's better than Tom Brady. Name the quarterback. Split Tom Brady in career. You could take Tom. I can make the case. So now I'm an advocate. Tom Brady has come to me, and I'm representing him pro bono. I can split Tom Brady's career in half and make mm. him the greatest. Stop playing with me. So now, if you add it in its totality, mm. you mean to tell me that you said that there's another quarterback? Now, if you want to argue, say the greatest football player for me is Jerry and LT. Okay, fine. But if you're talking about a quarterback, ain't no quarterback better than Tom. Come on, man. Come on, people. Listen. If you talk about accomplishments, you're talking about yards, you're talking about what he was able to accomplish, game winning drives. What metric do you want to I use? I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. I just, the way he just broke that down. Is what I was trying to say. I just couldn't put it in the words, but he put it in the words for me. But he, but he flawed. He's flawed because he said Jerry's like Brady. You won't give me and Donnell chime back in. Wait, tell me the quarterback that's better than I'm, Tom. I'm not good with quarterbacks. I'm not good with quarterbacks. No, he said Jerry is like Brady, the most accomplished. I'm asking him to give me oh, a quarterback oh, that's oh, better got, than Brady. You got to ask him. I don't, I don't, I don't know. In, in order, in order for his, in order for his argument to carry right. water to right. hold weight, he's gonna have to give me a quarterback that's better than Brady. Ocho, under the same premise, uh, ironically, Sterling should be considered top five because of outside of injury. No wide receiver put up uh, Sterling's number. First year, uh, first seven years of productivity. Hall of Fame under the Gale Sayers mm -hmm. rules. I agree, but hey, it is what it is. Blown coverage says, it's funny you found someone to raise your blood pressure other than find someone to raise your blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, he does raise my blood pressure. He absolutely does, blown coverage. He he like he like the little brother that you got to take everywhere. You got to take somewhere with you everywhere you go or your mom not going to let yeah. you go. And you got to yeah. take him with you and he'll yeah. know it. me? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting. On, I'm waiting on you to take me to first take. Pretend I'm that little brother and bring me on. Bring, 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 bring me on down there. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I see you. I see you. I see you. How you doing, honey? Oh, is that yeah, real? Rare, rare, yeah, real watching. Real watching. Now, Sir Alexander said we need to start having a conversation about Puka Nakua being offensive rookie of the year. C.J. Stroud has missed two games, and you, that has to count for something. Absolutely. It absolutely does because when you look at Puka's mm -hmm. number, Ocho, he gonna be probably fifty. What, what is Puka the two? Puka I think he, number. He probably gonna be wait, fifty. Fifty he didn't cross a thousand yards. already, right? Oh, yeah, he way yeah. over a thousand. And he, he had like what one seventy six tonight, one sixty something. He had one sixty four, I think. Woo! He got about thirteen, fourteen hundred. Huh? Okay. Damn. So. We're going to get back to that. 
Hulk, I put wifey, I put wifey onto your highlight tape. She said the Hulk Hogan flex after scoring a touchdown lacked creativity. Aside from the Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of, uh, the Ocho Hall of Fame jacket celebration, what's your favorite TV celebration? Man, I think TD, uh, uh, the pom poms with TD. I mean, with hey, T.O. classic boy. Uh, the uh, the uh, the Sharpie. That was classic against Sean Springs. Ocho, you had, oh, yeah, Ocho, you had the uh, uh, the uh, the golf, the yeah. Tiger Woods yeah. when you put he it with just the pylon. Won, he had just won something Saturday, and I did it. I did it the next day. Yep. Yeah. Uh, who else? Man, they've they been some. They've been some good ones. Man, you know what? Man, Tyreek backflip hey, celebration with the boy, phone. Hey, <laughs> that was live. You hear me? That that might that yeah, might have been still... top. That might have been top five right there all time. Just the fact that you, yeah. in the middle of a game, you take somebody's yeah. phone and record yourself flipping and get the whole thing. That was live. How many? That's only got eleven sixty. Yeah. He might be over 1,300 right 13. now, Ocho. Yeah. Wait, Tyreek at, wait, Tyreek at 1,500. He only 200 behind? Yes. He only 200 behind Reek? But you got to real, but you got to realize Tyreek got to play Sunday. Oh, okay, Tyreek okay. missed right, the game, right, remember? Right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Tyreek right. missed the game. Hey, that's a good game. Hey, that it's, Cowboy game going to be nice, boy. It's going to hey, be a great be, game. Like Gilmore, uh, Gil, Uncle Gilmore Jay and going to have their hands full, boy. If Tyreek oh, can he play. Playing? He playing. I gave I gave him the remedy. Okay. Okay. Well, the thing is, Miami's going to have to run the football because you can't get in a situation where you let Dallas pin what the ears the, back. You see what how did the Bills, what did the Bills how do? Buffalo what did the Cardinals do? Run the football. Run the football. What did 49ers run do? The run the football. You can't get one-dimensional yeah. with them. You can't just let them pin yeah. the ears back. Uncultured J asks, Uncle Ocho, congrats on 500,000. Just curious, how well do you guys remember your playbook? Uh, could you call out a play right now? If so, what job is do? What is your job is doing the play, and as well as the overall play. purpose? I'm ready because mine was easy. We had a number system when I was in Cincinnati, so boom, I write six twenty eight. I write six twenty eight. I write for strength strength of formation to the right. I'm to the left. I'm the mm -hmm. X. I got the six. Obviously, the six is the dig route. Number two receiver mm -hmm. on the other side, off the ball with a no, the tight end. I'm sorry, the tight end. Mm -hmm. Boom. Is it with the shallow or, or the two? The two is a slant, huh? But it wouldn't be a slant from uh from three point stand. Yeah. What would you call that? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Your tight ends? We didn't have enough. We, I mean, we 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 call, you know, we might call a, a red right two jet flanker drive. Okay. okay. It's like the drive the, is the, just shallow, the, the, right? The flanker got the drive. The drive is the, the, the Zeke has yeah. the shallow. I got the basic. Rod got right. the hook, and then we okay, flare the back. 628, boom. The eight, the post is out. The, the Z has the post. And you know what? I'm going to just say we in trips then. So number two number two has right. a slant, and boom. The goddamn Z has the post. 628. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, Puka is second in receiving yards after the guy, after the night's game. Now, remind you, the guy's got to play. Uh, so he has 1327. He's fourth in yards per catch. I mean, excuse me, in yak yards after that's, catch. That's which crazy. is amazing. That's great. That's so he's gonna probably end up, Ocho, as a rookie with over 1500 yards. That's crazy. Yards. So now I, I hate <laughs> to go back to this. Just 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 listen to me. Do you understand? <laughs> there are many, many, many younger players, rookies and second year players that are capable. Uh -huh. Of doing the same exact thing that make feel they're better than Puka, but things aren't going well for their team, and they're frustrating because seeing something like that, seeing a rookie emerge on the scene, you you you, you get him going. I get what okay. you're saying, but Ocho, you have to understand his situation is yeah. different than yours. Your situation right, is right, different right, than right, his. Right, right. It, it's kind of like it's kind of it's kind of like somebody looking mm -hmm. at yours and. And and the worst thing that you can do, and we've done it all the time, to somebody else. is that you. Ooh, it's the worst. <laughs> you see, worst. you know I knew, exactly, I knew exactly where I was going. going. I knew exactly where you were going. But just to see, <laughs> just just to see what Puka is doing, man. Rookie uh -huh. year, man, is crazy. And they already had a guy. They already got a triple crown, triple crown. Uh, goddamn, went over there. 
Yeah, oh, Shit. yeah, Cup. So obviously, there hadn't been a whole lot no, of no, those. No, 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 I mean, you that's, got Cup, that's, that's, you got that's Steve Smith, my yeah. brother. That's and hard Jerry. to do. That is hard to yes. do. So yeah, basically, I mean, I I think since the merger, now they might have been somebody, maybe Charlie right. Hennigan or, or or someone else might have might have done that. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, Don yeah. Hudson, uh, uh, the old Packers guy might have done it. But I think since the merger, I think Jerry, mm -hmm. my brother, Steve Smith yeah. Senior, and Cooper so, Cup are the only guys that have done the done the uh, the triple crown. So whatever Sean McVay is doing offensively, I think all other teams need to take their scheme and whatever they're doing. And adapt to it. You know who office he running? You know that's Kyle Shanahan's office, right? <laughs> yes, he learned on the cow. Okay, he was with Mike and Kyle in well, Washington. Listen, I listen. The Steelers needed. So Mike McDaniel, uh, uh, Mike McDaniel used to be the ball boy so in Denver. Same offense over there in Miami too. Same offense. Yeah, McDaniel was under on the cow. That's crazy how that umbrella work, and they just take the same. Yes. Well, you know what? The Steelers need to do that. The Steelers mm -hmm. need to do whatever McVay is doing, whatever the 49ers are doing, <laughs> because they have the personnel to do exactly. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. But you get where I'm going with it. Uh, Marshall Miller said, "Unk, did anyone think about Cal win at all? His dad, father, coach, son be on top. I don't know. I, I can't think of anybody else that had a father, son. The father won the uh, Super Bowl. Cal, uh, uh, Cal mm -hmm. were to do it. I mean." I mean, he was always around his dad. I mean, he was he was like a little sponge. I mean, he you know, back in the day before they had those cordless, he would hold a cord for his dad on the sideline. And, you know, he would come out there, he was ball yeah. boy uh, during the summer, and then to come game time, he would hold a cord That's for his dope. dad. That's dope. Yeah, man. So, I I mean, I've, I've known Kyle since he was 12. Uh, um, was Eddie Mac a trash talker, demeanor like more like C-Mac? No, Eddie Mac didn't do no talking. He did not talk. I mean, he barely talked. He, he, his locker was across from mine. Uh, he didn't really do a whole lot of talking. He just smiled, laughed, you know, because, you know, we we were loud. You know how Eddie I do the locker room, Ocho. You know, you I'm talking about Ed McCaffrey? Ed McCaffrey. Hey, Ed yeah. McCaffrey had them shoulder pads by this big. <laughs> hey, his he hey, arm, his arm he was, was yoke, boy. How big McCaffrey was? <laughs> about 210, 220? Yeah, yeah. That was a big, yeah. That was, he probably that about 210. boy, man. About six four and a half, six five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and 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 they do no time, you know, trash talking. I mean, I, nah, nah. And and didn't really say anything. I mean, but the the problem that they had is that they underestimated because he was right. white, and back then there wasn't a whole lot of you know he was long and mm -hmm. lanky. He kind of ran like yeah. Forrest Gump, and they oh, I'm gonna do this yeah. white boy up. I'm gonna do this white boy up. And next thing you know, he got the ball up in the end mm -hmm. zone over his head. See. You talking yeah. crazy, and yeah. I look at you. That's, I'm like, hey, Opie, hey, you know, that was the time where a uh, white man yeah. can't jump. I said, man, Opie pooping on y'all. <laughs> that ain't what I said. <laughs> I ain't get him, man. Get him. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Ed, wasn't, Ed, Ed, wasn't fa Ed wasn't super fast. He was, he was, he was he, faster than you think. He ran 4-4. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Real? <laughs> yes. Damn. He ran 4-4. Yes, Lisa. Uh, uh, I think Lisa's dad or granddad was an Olympic. Uh, with a he won the silver medal in the, like the two hundred. Oh, shit. Yeah. Think, yeah, yeah, his, yeah. Lisa, because Lisa was a soccer player right. at Stanford. Obviously, Ed played uh -huh. football. Ed's brother Billy, remember he uh, won a national championship mm -hmm. at Duke. Ended up transferring mm -hmm. to Vanderbilt. So they come from a family yeah, of athletes great. now. I mean, and Lisa yeah. tell you, I mean, she's great. I mean, she's funny. I mean. She's definitely the life mm. of the party. But she said, hey, the reason why I got with Ed, I wanted to have fast little white babies. I said, well, damn it, baby, you got them. <laughs> you got them. And she got four boys. She got four boys, all of them with yeah. D1. Uh, 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 the oldest, I think, Max, went to Duke. Obviously, Christian went to Stanford. Uh, one went to Michigan. One went to Nebraska. I think they probably tr end up transferring, going right. other places. See, she but had to say she had, she was, she, she had she the same it. plan I did. I like that. I like yes, that. I yes, like that. yes, yes, yes. Uh, she gave. Oh, she gave. She made Ed work though. She gave the cold show at first. She said, uh, "Paisley Jones asked, yo, Unc in '85, who is the the best running back in their prime, Zeke or McCaffrey?" Ooh, it, that's that's Man, two, that's two really, different styles. They 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 two different they two different styles of back. 
But if you look at it, Zeke only had three years, Ocho. His first three years. Crazy. That was he was getting, he was getting people that work, boy. He was. He was. He was. And 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 the thing is with with, with C Mac, he's in the perfect mm-hmm. system. And I said this when they traded, I say, y'all let him mm-hmm. go there with somebody that knows use how him? to use him. I'm so glad you just said that. That knows how to do what? Okay, use him. Use him, and he he uh, 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 uh and and Kyle definitely knows how to use him. Okay, Laney Ray's back. She always asks a question. Uh, Shannon and Ocho, what is your ultimate professional goal or what would you need to accomplish to sit back and think, okay, I've done everything I set out to do in this business. Love you guys' show. Mm. Love the show, guys. What would you What would you need to do, Ocho? What would you need to accomplish in this? What would I need to accomplish in this, in, in what this space want to accomplish? and what we're doing here? Yeah, that's where you are now. What the hell? You you can't call the shit else in football. But you never know when I might. You, they you got never no, know they, when I might. You never know. No, I might got, get a call. You never know. No, no country. Hey, football. The NFL is no country for old men. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is no joke. Ain't no country for old men. You know men. what? How far can we go? We don't even know. We don't even no. know. And the fact, I, I'm not one. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. I'm enjoying mm-hmm. the journey. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to sure. look that far ahead. You know how people say I'm taking it day by day. I'm yes. taking it show by show. And at some point, mm-hmm. based on what we've done in such a short amount of time, it's only going to get better from here. All I know is I'm I'm planting only. seeds. I'm planting the seeds. Yeah, for sure. And as time goes on, as we keep watering and watering and watering. And, and fertilizing. fertilizing, it's gonna keep growing and growing and growing. And where we go, I, I don't know because I can't predict the future. But I know we're going. I know we're going right. in the right direction. I know that. We, we absolutely going in the right direction. Um, Ojo, it's kind of like my football career. If somebody would have told me I was gonna have the career mm-hmm. I had because the Hall of Fame. Obviously, I remember going to the Hall of Fame my second year. We actually played in the Hall mm-hmm. of Fame game. We go. And how about? 30 years later. No, 20 years later, 91, 2001, and 2011, mm-hmm. I'm in the Hall of Fame. So 20 mm-hmm. years. The very place I'm like, I'm looking around in awe, yeah. I'm in there. So I didn't expect, I just want, hey, I need to make yeah. some money. I wanted to go to a Pro Bowl, be an All-Pro, play in the Super Bowl. I felt that was going to be a pretty right. good career. If I only played four or five mm-hmm. years, Ocho, and I could accomplish that, I'm going to be able to tell my kids, if I didn't have kids right. when I played, or I'm going to be able to tell my grandkids, this is what your dad, this is what your mm-hmm. papa did. And I far exceeded what I, you know, hey, once I got in there, I was like, okay, five years, let me see if yeah. I can get another one. And okay, I get one Pro Bowl, let me see if I can get another. Because the easiest thing you'll do is make the Pro Bowl or become an All-Pro because ain't nobody mm-hmm. expect that from you. Now, you want to be that boy dog or be what you think you are, do it again when they build a game plan to stop your ass. Boy, now you're talking. Now you're now, talking. When you know they set their defense to Based stop you. You're lying. Yeah. Man, stop yeah. it. And you go out there and get that work. Every time. Or, Ocho, see, but when I got into the league, Ocho, when you start getting going, I remember we played the Raiders. We played the Raiders in the, uh, 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 in the, uh, in 93, it was the last game of yeah. the season. And if we beat them, we win the division. They're the wild card. They come to us. They beat us. We're the wild card. We go to them. So I'm cooking. Now, I've, I've told you the story, Ocho. I needed like 100 and, 121 yards or something. I have 115, 116, yeah. and I'm five yards short of 1,000. So I got at the half. Now, I got this at mm-hmm. the half, Ocho. I ain't say no game. I got like six for a buck right. 21 at yeah. the half. Don't catch another pass. So I go back out there the next week cooking. Man, I caught a touchdown. Greg Townsend, uh, number 93, played with Howard. They had a pretty yeah. good defense. He looked at Greg, he looked at Eddie Anderson. Eddie Anderson was big old hard hitting safety out of Port Valley. He said, Eddie, 
it's time to go to 84 throat. He said, we got to get him mm. up out of here. I looked at him, I said, town, damn, I thought we cool. He said, hey, F that sharp. We got to get your ass up out of here because you cooking us. That's how guys right. thought. Hey, you be yeah. cool, but they get you. Hey, they're going to try to knock you. He was the guy, I remember my rookie year, we walk into the, because we played in the Coliseum. They're, they're, they're the LA Raiders then. I go, we go into the locker room. He's sitting on his helmet smoking a cigarette at halftime. Wait, you play, you <laughs> play when they can smoke cigarettes? Yeah, what you mean? Yeah, they smoke. He was he was smoking a cigarette sitting on his helmet outside at half. God, did you ain't got no picture of that? <laughs> Man, oh show, I hey, hell. I mean, if you do it the hell, I'm thinking it's normal. I mean, we had a bunch of guys that would go, they didn't smoke at practice, but during, you know, during the lunch break, they go to their car and smoke. Man, that's crazy. Oh, you boy, you played yeah. back. Y'all, y'all had leather helmets. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had no leather helmet, but it was it was different. El Cho, it was different. Who was the picture? A dude that was with the Chiefs, and there's a picture of him. He real cool, smoke. Lynn Dawson. Boy, hey, Lynn got, Dawson. Boy, that boy, that picture so cold. So that picture so cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to, to answer Laney Ray's question, I don't know Laney. To be honest with you, I don't know because sometimes when you become satisfied as a person, you're through as mm. an individual, and I never want to get to that point. So, yeah. I don't know. I just know I got more to give. I got more to offer. And there's a level that I want to get to. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't want to. You know what? If people, somebody say, well, what is pornography? And the, judge, the man said, well, I don't know what it is, but I can explain it when I see it. I know what it is when I, I see like it. That. I can't tell you when that moment is that I said, okay, Ocho. You're going to need a new partner for Nightcap. Mm. I know it and I see it. I feel it. But right now, I still have that burning desire and passion. Okay, what can we, what can Ocho and I talk about today? Besides the game, okay, what can we talk about? What kind of life lessons, what kind of impact can we partake on people that will resonate, that's relatable? Because at the end of the day, you know, yes, we did what we did. We are who we are. But we got stories that you guys can relate to, and I think that's why you like us so much because we are Very related. Very much so. And the, you know, you know what else I like. This is what else I like is the fact that we're obviously outside of following. For those that do follow me, that 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 are watching, the fact that I might be who I am, I might have done what I do, but I live the exact same way y'all do out there. If you follow me long enough, I don't do nothing extra. We shop at the same place. We wear the same clothes. We eat the same food. Like it's like I'm. Re- no, they ain't eating no raccoon. Like I be. Nah, eating. I'm talking about. Wait, I'm talking about. I'm t- talking about me. Just my my, <laughs> my way my way of living. Well, I hope they ain't eating what you eating because I already heard what you eating. I know what's on hey, your menu. <laughs> I just said I hope they ain't doing that. I hope they ain't a whole lot of people in our chat doing what you do. <laughs> Man. Hey, I forgot. I, I forgot all about that until you just jogged my memory, man. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, man. Like, yeah, hey, uh-uh. wait, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Aaron Owens asked, "What is it like to go from being unknown to being recognized by everyone and being famous?" Well, uh, I ain't famous yet, but when I get on first take, I'm sure I will be. <laughs> uh there's a difference between celebrity fame and athlete yeah. fame because I'm more famous now than I ever was mm-hmm. as an athlete, even at my best, even at winning Super Bowls. I'm the best tight end. I'm one of the best players in the NFL. Nothing like this. And what's so funny, Ocho, mm-hmm. is that the people that call me, very seldom does somebody call me by my name. People call me Unk. Or they call me mm. Shay. And a lot of people calling me Unk, and they older than me. They like, man, can I call you Unk? I'm like, bro, how you how about bro? How you gonna call me Unk and you right. older than me? Women ask, can I call you Unk? Sure, why not? So it's really cool. It has its yeah. moments. Cause you know, sometimes I be in yeah, the Yeah, right. You don't want to be bothered. You know that yeah, yeah, I, 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 see, I 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 see you going, I see you going. 
Yeah. Hey, I listen. I, I, I I'm picking up what you're putting down, man. I got yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm, you know, hey, I'm just, I'm just in and out. I eat fast. I mean, like, yeah. Fix my pay. Hey, fix my plate if you want to, and fix yours. By the time you sit down, no. I'm getting up. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. You like, and he's like, damn. I guess I'm a. I'm gonna eat by myself again. I'm I'm sorry. Uh Mr. 334. 334. Now I was gonna say 330 is uh is uh Ohio, like Cleveland, Akron area, I think. So Mr. 334 and beyond said, when y'all hit a mill, Millie, Unc bringing LeBron on the show. I'm calling it. Nah, when we hit him, when we hit a million, we giving up. Oh no, that, that was for if we hit it before the New Year's, huh? Yeah, it's too late. Yeah. All right. That would that would be nice. Uh, D asked, "What'd you get real for Krimma?" She in the, she in the chat. Hey, real, real. If you in here, send us two hundred dollars real quick, baby. <laughs> she ain't gonna do it because she gonna say she want to know what she gonna get. Yeah. So she, you won't know if she, she in the chat. If, listen, if real, if she send us two hundred dollars right now, I tell you, I tell you, I want her gifts. Let me see. We get no money yet. It don't take that long. Ooh, 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 Ocho, they're gonna be. You got a good one. Go, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Eric knows. Ask, could a man making a hundred thousand a year get the same woman that a man makes a million a year? How important money is overall? Hell, you gotta ask a woman. Yeah. You can't you ask, ask me, me either. Yeah. But you know, you know, it's you know it's Wait very important. You know, you know that. You ain't, you ain't yes. gotta ask that, but you know that. You know that. Ocho, what's the what's the famous saying? It's just as easy to love a rich man as it is yeah. a poor one. Yeah. But you got to think about it, too. Think about this, though. Unc, how many women with money are giving the poor man a chance? Oh, no, no, no. See, the difference between us and them, if we see a fine chick at the bus stop or at, at yeah. CVS, we yeah. holler. We can see her getting, we can see her getting into a, 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 a car, and she got to get in on the mm. other side because her door mm. won't open. Is she bad? What's well, up with it? Uh -huh. I get you a part of that. I can get you a part of that. Ain't no way you supposed. Ain't no way you look yeah. like that supposed to be driving that. Let me get yeah. you a part of okay. that. Okay. You better stop playing. Different ball game. Different ball game. There's your answer. There's the answer. Are to you your question right there? Oh, you got a coach. Now you know good and well you ain't supposed to have no coach, no Kate Spade on your arm. Now you need to go and get this this Chanel. uh 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 this YSL, this Chanel. This yeah. Chanel. yeah. Hey, you come on now. now you, you know, know he, better. How somebody like you to walk with something you know like answer. that? That's beneath you. You know the answer. It's a different ball game. Yeah. Sherelle just donated and said, what you say? What you say, Talk Rail? to me, baby. That's the way to put your money. That's the way you put your money on. That's the way to put that money up there for your baby, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. See, my baby got money. I want to see what My baby got money. My baby got money. I want to see what you go. All right, she donated two hundred. What's one of the gifts? Huh? Oh, three three. Hold on, what is that? Oh, three three four is Alabama. Uh, roll tide. Roll tide. <laughs> That's Alabama. You rail from Alabama. Rail from Phoenix City, Alabama. Man, what you from? Yeah, but she, yeah, she right from the what? trenches. Yeah. Man, don't let that face, don't let that <laughs> face of them freckles fool you, boy. Well, she don't play. She, she don't, man, she might be the only one. If you. She a diamond in the rough down hey, there. Hey, man, that's, 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 that's my baby, man. Okay, well, what's one of the gifts? She hey, donated listen, now. She want to know. I got her some jewelry. You know, yeah, I, I got her some jewelry so so she could, she could, so she could lay up like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. And we got, we got, I got some more stuff so I could just, I could, I could, I could say that because I got other things. I got other things. She going to, oh, hey, you hear me? I got other things she gonna be able to open. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, just, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna let you oh, go. Ain't, ahead nothing, have ain't that. nothing like that. <laughs> I'm keeping it clean. I'm keeping it clean. We PG. This is a family show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be opening something too. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no package. <laughs> uh, Terry Thompson, fears up. Shut up. Disrespect uh 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 two and dolphins at your own pearl, Shannon. Let him know, Ocho. Hey, Guys. don't be talking about tour. 
Boy, two of that boy, boy. I'm telling you, listen, listen, I told you, listen, two of Samoa, man. When Super when Super Bowl time come, if you run into Tua mm-hmm. and he jump on you, I'm gonna have to save you. So you need to watch what you say about Tua. Now I done warned you once. Now I'm just telling you that they told me to come. They told me, you know the Booyah tribe? Yeah. They told me to tell you. Watch what you say about Tua. Now, I love you. I had your back. I say, listen, y'all put your hands on mm-hmm. Shannon. I'm had to jump in. I tell you what, if he jump on me and I can't get him off, he welcome <laughs> to stay. <laughs> that, that, that's all that I believe it in that. If he get a jump on me and I can't get him off, let him leave him there. <laughs> Faith said, I shut up, Ocho. Please tell Eric the value of anything a man wants is equal to the price he's willing to pay mm-hmm. to have it. That is absolutely yes, is. right. That's yes, exactly right. Yeah. Yes, it is. It, see, uh, man, that ain't that valuable. Okay, it's not that to valuable you. to you. But somebody, if somebody's willing to yeah. pay that. Yeah. And then they, man, I wouldn't pay, I wouldn't pay a million dollars for a car. Okay. But there are 50 they would, people yeah. that would. Yeah. What you want, You'll somebody you know. will. And this is the funny thing. A lot of women always say that. A lot of women always say, what you won't do, someone else will. Yes, they will. But it will always be nine times out of ten, somebody you don't motherfucking want. But you just wouldn't because yeah. they're willing to do it. Yeah, let them the, do it. That's the, that's the downside to the what you won't do, somebody else will. Yes, yeah, a lot of them will. But it ain't going to be who you motherfucking want. <laughs> uh, Marcus Mayfield said, oh. If you ever, ever think about leaving Nightcap, I'm going to have to beat you worse than Mr. Barney did when you stole your sister's <laughs> ring. <laughs> man, my sister dying me out, man. She couldn't let me take that ring. You know, I could have been, you know, I might have been booed up in the mm. first grade. KMC asked, could you shout my wife out, Shayna, and my daughters, Rose and Cambry? Uh, it's Eagles Giants household. Christmas will be fun. Thank you. Happy holidays to you and your family. Happy holidays. Uh, I think it's Shayna. And her daughters are Rose and Cambry. That's mm. what he said. So, Cam, happy holidays, bro. Life of Mari said, my name is Tamar King. I'm from Glenville, Georgia. And could you shout out my grandma, Doris Roberts? Hey, hey, Miss Doris, Good how deal. you doing? That's from the crib. They from the crib. Yeah, they from the crib. You know what's up. Uh, Fernie Arceo says, uh, can you and Chad do a challenge? You eat like Chad for a week. Chad eat like you for a week, please. That would be funny. Yeah. And you gotta eat man, you gotta eat I'll everything be, I eat too. But I'd be sick. I'd be sick, man. Yeah, I can't can. eat fast oh, whoa, 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 whoa. every day, man. You no, got whipped cream? You gotta eat everything I eat. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Nah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> cat. The lady that prepared my food, Mm-mm. and uh, hey. she was making some yeah. dessert. I finna throw that whipped cream that she left in there. I finna throw it out. Boy, that's funny. Mm-mm. That was funny. No, nah, Ocho. I'm gonna have to leave you on your own hey, on that man, one. I gotta fix my light, man. I look too bad. I look too bad. Uh, look Ocho. Out. They said, uh, Pharaoh 3K said, Ocho, what is up getting, uh, getting with Miss B Nasty or the doctor? Uh, that's on you, man. Listen, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I done did everything in my power to do what I needed to do. Let me ask you a question. Is that water a jacuzzi? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Joe, jacuzzi in a jacuzzi. You know, I might be in a jacuzzi. Listen, in there. you told me you wanted a center, so I bought you a center. Ooh, damn. And you know what they say. They say sometimes a center can make you a winner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? You know them yeah. sinners? How you be the time I get a sinner? Man, you know I've been looking for what them old fans want. Good yeah. old sinners. They right there. They right there. They, I mean, they right there. In, they right mm-hmm. there in your face. But the, I think you scared. I don't. I don't blame you. I'd be scared too. What I'm scared of? What I'm scared I, I of? Can't, I can't. You I know, can't. I got me this nice umbrella. Ash, Ash been been talking crazy to me all day about my umbrella. I got a nice umbrella, yeah. Ocho. Yeah, pay the man. You got rain. You got you got rain boots to go with that. Yeah, I got galoshes. Yeah, and a raincoat. 
Figurative and like, literally. Sound like you know it sound I mean? like you're ready there, boy. It sound like you're ready. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say no names. You know how ready your boy. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you know your boy. Oh, oh. Wait, can, <gasps> you, can, you, can you backstroke? <laughs> what about Long the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do on your life. You know, they call me, they call me Black Michael Phelps. <laughs> Ocho is a different type of famous. I see Ocho in Tampa, Miami, Hialeah, Alapatch, all over Florida smoking cigars. If I ever see you at Corona King in Tampa smokes and combo is on me. Carl Oakley said that, Ocho. They see you all yeah. over the place. Hey, and when I'm in when I'm in Tampa, man, I'm always at Cigar International, man. I love Cigar International. Uh I love going up there, the smoke, I obviously watch the games most of the time. Uh other than that, man, I, I really I really enjoy Tampa. Tamp Tampa's dope. Tampa Tampa's really dope. It's a it's a change of pace from being in Miami. And um I enjoy it. I like going to Ebor in Ebor. I love Ebor. I love the chickens of Ebor. I like the 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 in Ebor yeah, City. I, I like I like Ebor, man. I like Is Mars Venus Ooh. still open? Mars Venus. I don't, I don't know. When I go when I go to Ebor, I go to Long Ash Cigar Bar. And I go to Carmines or I go to Seven the Grove. That's it. Or I go, they have a they have a place I watch the games at on Sunday called Flex. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy yeah. Flex on Sundays. They got all the games playing in there. Other than that, I don't go nowhere else. That's it. I don't go nowhere else. Uncle Nocho, what are some of your most treasured purchases? What have you purchased that is most, most valuable? Well, hell, mine got stolen in May. So <laughs> Uh, what have I purchased? Valuable that... purchases. Mm. Gold in the McDonald yeah. franchises. I'm, you know what, Ocho? I'm really sentimental. Yeah. Um, um, like I got, I got stuff. Probably shouldn't say this, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't look at it. It's in a safe deposit box. I got stuff that. Exes have given me. Wait, you I still you supposed to you? They ain't trying to take it back. Get what? Take what back? Like when when somebody buy you something and y'all break up, they ain't take it back. Mm -mm. I mean, I have had yeah, I've had women to buy give me stuff and we break up, they take oh, it back. Shit. Okay, yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Right? Why, you you leave me? You think purses, heels? Jury, ah, uh, come here. No, 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 no. I don't want it back. I ain't, I, I ain't like. I'm, oh, I'm not like that. No, no, no. I, I don't want. I don't. I don't, oh, I don't want it back. I don't want it back. Give me, give me me, give me me. You think you finna be out with the next, <laughs> the next man wearing the shit I bought you? Nah, that's that. You are his responsibility now. Let him rebuy it. Got me for you. Think you gonna have on my have on that good fur coat and that 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 Chanel bag and nice boots? I yeah, got I mean, yeah. She, she, she got out with it with, with Chanel uh -uh. and Louis. And got nah, my earrings like, hey, it's okay, it, Ocho. Nah, it's nah, okay. It ain't, Ocho. it ain't no, Ocho, it, it, ain't no it, it ain't okay. It's not yeah. okay, and I'm not gonna let you I, sit here and tell me it's okay. And if I catch you out with with old Timmy with my stuff on, I'm gonna make you take it off right there on the spot. You will make and a come up out of it. Goddamn boots right now. Take them all. Take them all. Playboy, you got a problem? Good. Play, Look, hey, Playboy, you Ocho, got a problem? Let me ask you a huh? question. Have you ever have you ever seen one of your exes out with another guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty times. I have no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen my I've seen because my because I don't really go to the places that we went when we oh, were together. That's a good one. That's a good. Well, so you switch up. Yeah, and 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 if I think if I think man, man she might. I'm cool. Right, right, right. I, don't, I look. I and I don't have I don't have a problem with any of my exes. I don't have Would a problem with them. You can be I, on. You I, can, I, I be, probably yeah, we family be on. No, 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 like, not, if, not, if you see no. Somebody probably, that you used to deal with, and you see probably, another dude. Would you feel some type of way? Be not honest, now. Be honest. Not now. Not now. No, not not now. Oh, Joe, it's been. It's. I'm. I'm too far removed. Now you caught me. You, had you caught me a week or a couple of weeks after? Yeah. Hell, Wait yeah, a minute. A hurt. couple of weeks. If she on a goddamn date, a couple of weeks, and y'all just broke up, boy, she been talking to him. That's okay. What else? Look, I know, Ocho, I know, I'm I know, not finna I'm look. I'm I'm not see. I'm not. Listen, I'm not one of those right. guys that me like. If I if I break up, okay, I'm gonna take a couple of weeks, a month myself. 
And then, you know, I'm like, okay. But if I were to see her out like a week, I was like, damn. I'm I'm a, I'm thinking right. just like you're thinking. Damn, right. that was quick. But what was I what was I expecting? I mean, you're attractive, you're yeah. nice. Oh yeah, she ain't, ain't gonna be no shortage. Ain't gonna be a shortage of men based on, yeah, based on the woman nah. you're dealing with. That's why you uh you people, people in the chat, you, I need y'all to do me a favor. You have to do something. You have to stop expecting you and, and other, other people. people. And learn, please no, yes. learn to manage your expectations. Please, I'm begging yes. you, learn to manage your expectations and stop putting the onus and pressure on your partner having to create happiness for you. That's too much pressure. Don't do that. That's the, too hey, much pressure, man. Happiness is happiness not something you find. You. It's something you, you create. It's you, it's you. Don't, don't put that pressure on your partner, man. You don't find self, you Come create on, self. Uh, Marcus Holt said, Unk and Ocho, have y'all peeped the shots from Nick Wright about y'all talking about sex? Love y'all, man. No, nah, what did he Nick say? What did Nick say? Man, I, boy, Nick don't, boy, Nick don't know me like that, boy. Man, I come across, boy, I catch Nick. Why well, hit Nick with an uppercut so quick? What? What Nick say? I don't know what he said. I mean, to each his own. I mean, that's the lovely part about having a podcast. We talk about what we want to talk about on the eyes. He talk about what he man, wants I to talk hit about. Nick with is. a combo so quick, man. I, man, Nick. Nah. Wait, Nick. What Nick said, man? Somebody, somebody, give me the audio. I, I don't know. He's. He, I mean, I, I think he's like he's. I mean, he said something about. Pl- Nick must be mad by this motion. Nick mad by this motion. Yeah, he mad by this motion. Bro. Right. Here's the thing. But see, the problem is, is that the people come for the sports. The they stories. stay for the stories. And see, sometimes when, when, but like I said, I ain't got no problem with Nick. I mean, Nick has to service his right. listeners in the best way he and knows guess how. how. Guess what's going to get him to listen? Talking about who? Talk about who? Us. Talk about who? Huh? Shit. Stay with yeah. me now. Hey, Uncle Ocho, I need some advice. I work a stressful job and wanted to know a good way to stay calm. Wait, under where pressure. you work at first? Because we can't answer that until we understand where you work at. Because everybody got it. Everybody work a stress. I work a stressful job. I work a stressful job. What happened? Okay, I missed one. Okay. Okay. Uh, hopefully he chimes back in. Uncle Ocho, I'm a JUCO athlete, and I go on a date to Cheesecake Factory. She said, "Not good enough. What can, what should I do? Can't afford better Exit right now." Stage left. Exit yeah. stage left. Yeah. Who in the hell talk about yeah. Cheesecake Factory ain't good enough? Man, stop playing, yeah. man. I mean, whatever whatever you can afford is good Shit. enough. And if it's not because, but that lets you know that she lets you one. know that if if she's not good enough for you now. When you make it, she won't be good enough man, for you listen, then. Man. A woman that likes you will go anywhere to eat. Anywhere. It doesn't even matter. It ain't yeah. even about the money. Ain't man, about Ocho, the money. it's funny that you said that. Ocho, I had a situation, Ocho, back in 99. And everybody, if you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about because we had an ice storm and it knocked the power out. Now, I'm in this big old house and we got no mm. power. This was before I got a generator. I got a generator now, so if it knocked the power, I don't give right. a damn because that generator going to click on in like three seconds, and I'm going to be right. up and running. But anyway, Ocho, I didn't have any power. Uh-huh. So I ended up lighting I ended up lighting the fireplace uh, uh, and had the right. fire on. And so this chick called, and she's like, you know, can I come over? I was like, nah. But I, said, I, I, said, I, ain't got, I said, I ain't got no right. power. I said, it's cold. I said, it's like 60 mm. degrees in here. And I said, you know what? I say I don't even want. I say I don't even want to put you in no situation like that. So just stay where Man. you are. Damn, huh? You rude. You know huh. what she said? She said, "Well, I'm gonna come over there and be cold with you." Real oh, talk. What what happened after that? Man, it's sixty degrees. Ain't nothing, Papa. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, I ain't nothing, huh? Papa. But it was just the right. fact. It was just that she was willing to come. That she it's was 60, come it's 60 degrees. Yes. And she come and she said, I, hey, she going to leave the mm-hmm. comfort, the warmth of mm-hmm. her place to come lay yeah. next to me. Because I ain't going to lie to you, Ocho. I don't believe I could have mm-hmm. done it. Now, I ain't going to lie. Ain't no sense to me lying now. You know. If, if the shoe was on the other foot, you wasn't budging, huh? Man, 
You want me to leave 72 degrees and to go into 60? It ain't happening. That's the yeah. difference when someone actually likes you. When somebody actually likes you, yeah. they don't give a goddamn where you going. They don't. As long as yeah. I'm with you. You're right. That's all they care about. Yeah. 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 That's 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 real talk. Um Victor Moore said Japanese pitcher Yamamoto. Yoshini. Ooh, I don't know how to say his name. But he just got 325 oh, yeah. million fully guaranteed. Do either of you think you two could have played pro baseball? No. No. No, I no, could not no. have played. I was scared no. of the ball because they hit me. You know, I thought you did that on you purpose. Fight? And so, no, I could not have played. That was not want, my passion. I never, not once said I want to play. You want to charge baseball. the mound if you get hit with the ball? Yeah, I mean, because oh, cause here's my thing I hit a home run. And you know, you know, we got to have a little pizzazz with it. So, you know, I got to strip. Like I'm a peacock. Yeah, you know, yeah. A bit. Well, you know he gonna he gonna he, he gonna beam you me. up. He gonna beam you with that ball next time you up the bat now. Yeah, I'm gonna beam his ass up too with the, the lefts <laughs> and right, some side his head coming to that mound. You are absolutely right. Now, but I I never I ain't gonna lie with you. I I never I never desired nah, nah, to play I, my, my desire was to play uh, play soccer. My desire was to play for I mean play soccer. Obviously, I didn't have the resources to do that as a little kid growing up. Obviously, where I'm from and not having the resources to do so. So football it was. Uh, Uncle Ocho love the show. Best thing in sports media right now since the holidays. I want to know what are each of your favorite Christmas movies? Oh, a Christmas story. You're going to shoot your eye out. Friday after next, Home Alone, um, Die Hard. I don't care what y'all say. Die Hard, a Christmas movie to me. The Christmas story. The Christmas theme. The Grinch that stole Christmas. Jim Carrey, obviously. Um, yep. the preacher's wife is number three for me. Okay, that, that's my top three. I could I could rock with those. I can mm. rock with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, how can you not do Home Alone? Home Alone got yeah, to be up I, in there, home, Ocho. home Alone is cool, but I, I know the story so goddamn well. Yeah, it's another <laughs> story. But some something about that Grinch and obviously Denzel and and Whitney they kill the preacher's wife. Whitney, but that Christmas story, man. Well, that is classic. I want a BB gun. Uh, Bryson Lewis said, "I finally caught a live. When is the next giveaway?" Oh, so you, oh, you only came for the you only came for a giveaway, or you came to watch the live? Yeah, Bryson. I don't know. That's on Ocho. But the next giveaway, uh, then Terry, giveaway until we hit by the million. Right, Terry Q. Said it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Candy! She just turned twenty three. A shout out from you guys would be the greatest thing in the world, especially Chad, the best route runner and the best route runner Johnson. Uh, yeah, right by that. No, happy birthday! So. Wait, what's the name? What's the name? Happy birthday, Candy! Happy birthday, Candy! Shit! Yeah. yeah, turn up, get wasted, get drunk, or whatever y'all do when it's your birthday. Uh. Uh, how long? How long would you last on the island with Ocho before you guys fight? Fight. Probably at, on the island, just me and him. Probably twenty minutes. Nah, we ain't gonna fight because <laughs> he gonna build. Because he already know he gonna build some food. We, we ain't gonna be. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna be the one to get us off the island. What you talking about? See, there you go. That's why we gonna fight. I ain't following well, you. Shit. You think Wait, I'm gonna follow you, you? You stay your ass out there then and be cast away. I'm. I'm. A, I, I'm gonna be home. I know how to get. I know really? I'm a survival. That's how my entire life was built on survival. You can't catch or kill nothing. You can't clean it and you can't cook it. Boy, I was a Cub Scout. What? What you talking about, man? I was a Cub Scout. Everything I learned when I was a Cub oh. Scout will come into play if we stuck on the island. So you're going to need me. You're going to need me. You and I can you start a fire. When the last time I can you start a fire. Skills. I can catch fish. I know how to spear fish. Can you spear fish? Can you I, swim? I, you I, can't I, even swim. I, yes. You can't swim. I just told you I can and swim. I, can, I know how to start a fire. I, I'm going to know how to start a fire too because I'm going to knock fire from you for some bull job that <laughs> hey, you're going to say out there. Hey, so that's how boy, the fire hey, going to get boy, started. You've seen these hands, boy. This ain't, this ain't what you want now. Hey, I'm going to hit you with that left and I'm going to bring it back right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Man, Ocho, you out your mind, bro. I, I really, you really out your mind. Oh, 
Any more questions? Did I miss anything? Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, please make sure you follow us on both of our feeds. Go to Apple, go to uh, Nightcast Podcast, because some of you are still following us from the Club Shay Shay Podcast, which we don't mind, but we really appreciate it if you go to the Night uh, Nightcast Podcast feed also. Uh, we pinned the uh, Shea by Laporte link at the top of the chat. The holidays are right around the corner, a couple of days away. Go out and get yourself a bottle for you or a loved one. Thank you so much. Uh, the Rams beat the Saints 30-22. Matthew Stafford, 24-34, 328, two touchdowns. Kyron Williams, another 100-plus yard game uh, from scrimmage. His sixth straight game, longest such streak, tied for the second longest streak behind Christian McCaffrey, seven. Puka Nakua, nine catches, a buck 64, and a tub. Uh, anything that we miss? Okay. George Pickens, I love you, baby. Keep your head up because you can't see where you're going if it's down. Yeah, we got to block, yeah. baby. Yeah, pick your head up and block because clearly his head was down. George, I block. love you, baby. You got to okay. pick it. Just better days are coming, baby. Just stay locked in. I know how you feel. I rock with you, baby. You oh, got to block, oh, baby. Oh, oh, uh, Chris Tyree said, yes, Unc, Mons is still open. You went to Mons during the Super Bowl. <laughs> Y'all know the NFL brought their old girls to perform at Mons during the Super Bowl and kicked our Tampa natives out. Uh, no, actually, I did not go to Mons when we uh, – uh, Super Bowl 35 was in Tampa. We did not go. Um, we, I did not go to Ebor City. Um, me, Ray, um, Woody, Corey Harris, we kind of, that was kind of our click. And so, you know, we just kept it low key. Kept it low key. We went out one night, grabbed something to eat. Everything else was room service. I wanted, I wanted that, I wanted that lion mm. focus. I wanted that lion focus. So when he came out there, when they introduced that defense, Hunt, turn mm -hmm. him loose. Turn him loose. We unleashed, we unleashed the hounds of hell on them boy. <sighs> that was a beautiful thing, Ocho. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Again, thank you for watching us. Thank you for tuning in tonight for Nightcap. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that wait, subscribe wait, button. Check. We start wave check. We uh ain't no way. All right. Man, that ain't up. That ain't up but it's that ain't nothing but the shore right there, cuz. Uh -huh. <laughs> ain't no waves up in that. I need a haircut bad, but I'm looking scruffy too, but I don't even care. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting we for gained, the holidays. We're about to hit 514,000 subs, Ocho. So we almost gained 2,000 subs in the chat yeah. tonight. How many How many had in the chat? Oh, we had about 20,000 hey, in the chat. That's good. Our goal, our goal is to get 50,000 either Saturday night or mm. Sunday night. That's our goal. We need fifty thousand. We got to break out forty five thousand from uh last week. We gonna we gonna um, we gonna do that. We gonna do that. I got got a little I got a trick up my sleeve to pull that off. Yes, and 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 I ain't want to tell y'all we gonna probably have old Cole Prime back next Sunday. Prime coming back again? Yeah, hey, man. Listen, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have on my gloves. I'm gonna have man, on my gloves and cleats this time. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so he and I've been talking. He, he and I've been talking about some things, and so we tried to get it to where he's a uh, he's like a regular. That. So uh, like that. That's something that he wants. That's something that I think we can make happen. So I'm sure the I'm sure the chat would love to hear mm -hmm. Coach Prime, uh, and um, I, we appreciate him coming on. So again, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to show y'all these. Y'all ain't know. Hey, them ugly. Yeah, you be hating. I'm not hating. I'm just saying they ugly. Man, just cause you got on pro kids, don't be don't be What's hating on my pro kids. And I and I had L.A. Gears. You you got you know what L.A. Gears is? I do. British Knight too. What you know about what you know about BKs? <laughs> hey, you remember Lotto's? <laughs> yes. I wonder if they still make. Yeah, those yeah. Shoes. You can get all that Lotto's, Etonics. Remember Etonics? Etonics? Yeah, I do. I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Remember you talking. What about Deodora? Deodora? So, I bet yep. you ain't had no travel fox though. What about no. Clark's? You remember nope. Clark's? I yeah, I, 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 that I, was I a wear shoot. Clark's with my dickies. Yeah. Man, you must have just got out of you must be jailed like six months in the nah, county. It's just it's it's a it's you a and, part, it's you and them dickies. It is part of our attire here in Florida. Dickies and Clark's. 
Uh, again, thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you again Saturday night, again Sunday yeah. night, and again Monday night. So our goal is to try to hit 50,000 50, in the chat. We'd love to do it three nights in a row, but we got to help us. So tell a family, tell a friend to get in this chat, pitch your questions, and we're going to get to as many questions as we possibly can. We got some great games lined up this weekend. So we'll have a lot of storylines and a lot more stories to tell. Yeah. Thank you and good night.